What are you going to do, man at arms? We're due. Not if I have anything to say about it, Orko. Thank the stars, it's He Man. What seems to be the problem? A mysterious legion has amassed down the drawbridge of Castle Grayskull. You two wait up here. I'll take care of it. Uh, you could have just taken the stairs. Oh, fuck it. Go no further. Castle Grayskull is under the protection of He Man. Now remove your cloak, stranger, and tell me your name. It is I, Skeletor, rightful ruler of Italia. Ah, 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 ah. What, what, what is it? You're, you're a skeleton. I thought that was clear when I said my name was Skeletor. Right. So you were born with that name. Well, my name was Keldor, but after I was inflicted with this particular disfigurement, I chose Skeletor. Uh-huh. You don't think the name's a little on the nose? It's more apropos than on the nose. You know what? I'm not taking Monica advice from a guy calling himself He-Man. Fair point. Anyway, my minions and I seek to capture the power of Grayskull and- One second. Uh, how are you doing that? Doing what? Talking without a tongue or forming words without a brain. I mean, you have a muscular body, not as muscular as mine, but a skull for a head. How do you work exactly? I really need you to get over this. Sorry, sorry. Continue. <sighs> With the power of Grayskull in my grasp, there will be nothing to stop me from- I really hate to interrupt again, but- where are you looking right now? It's just hard to maintain eye contact when you don't have any, um, eyes. Uh, I'm looking at you, you don't! This is not that difficult! Come on, you guys don't find it tough to look at this freak? Are you kidding? I'm a furry red monster and I have trouble looking them in the sockets. Shut your gob, beast man, before I turn you into a throw rug! Can you all just let me get through this? I worked really hard on this speech! Sorry, Skeletor. Floor is yours. I will crush King Randor and take my rightful place on the- uh, Are you trying not to throw up in your own mouth? No, not at all. That's it. I quit. My presence is supposed to strike fear in my enemies, not nausea or confusion. Keep Grayskull for yourself, you steroid using moron! So, the rest of you guys wanna hang out or grab a bite or something? Mm, I could eat. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talk to their attorneys who assure them they can't be sued for comments they make on this month's show. I'm your announcer Julie. And this show is like any recreational drug you might come across. A brief moment of artificial excitement, followed by years and years of jail, rehab and therapy. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hey kids, this is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine, and I'm joined by two guys who don't get hate mail solely because they've defunded the post office, Matthew Stewart, Esquire, and Justin Palizzi, MD. How are you guys doing? I think I need a new career. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a new career move. What are, you, what are you thinking about? I'm not a lawyer anymore. You're not a lawyer? What? I'm going to go, I'm gonna go work But you're not wanting a boy to be a lawyer. I know. <laughs> Say it ain't so, Joe. Wrong. Yeah, it's Say it ain't so, what, Joe. What, what are you gonna do, Matthew? I'm gonna you, run your, for uh, the president. See. Oh, no. he, I, well, first off, first off, you're 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 you're. Uh, I got breaking news. I'm not running dirty for enough. <laughs> You've not. Both of you guys you're have not done as too? much dirty yeah, shit. Opposing sides. <laughs> oh, really? What's, what what do you run? What's what, what's your platform? What's your platform? What's yeah. your platform? My platform is OnlyFans. OnlyFans. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm just gonna go to the well. I'm just go Pornhub. Then. Pornhub, right? The porn, right? The porn. I mean, it's it's a household name. Hopefully, all right. Uh, it's people, definitely the household name. You no, know, pe- people. Subscribe. The grandma knows all about Pornhub. The great the great thing about Pornhub is that you can be free or you can pay. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's just like the true. post office. <laughs> you can either pay for it or not. It's totally yeah. up to you. It's on the honor system. 
It, yeah, uh, it basically is. It, it all depends on what you're looking for and uh, your budget. They they have um, they have um, quite a selection though. Fit any budget, you know, they have the we'll no fit. budget. Your you'll fit your budget. budget. Yeah. Are we doing an advertisement for Pornhub right now? Is that what's going on right now? Well, yeah, I, well, I'm con- I'm contractually obligated because they're a oh, big, wow. they're Dude, like, that was they're, fast. They're my super pack. <laughs> <I think it's, laughs> your super pack. <laughs> you know, it's called the Pornhub super pack. You know, advertisement paid by Pornhub. Uh, Pornhub uh, sold pack, stamps with women on them. They might make a lot of money. Oh yeah. fuck! Remember they would days? make a killing. Remember those days you would go to the post office and buy like a thing of stamps, lickable porn stamps. That's yeah. like, yeah, like a billion and, dollar and, franchise. And right? uh, Thank you. They're copyright. Different yeah. different <laughs> we got to copyright that. Copyright that, Justin. Yeah. Slam dunk. <laughs> Slam dunk. As I shoot a Come jumper. <laughs> shoot a jumper. Three pointer. It's good. <laughs> I get slam dunked. <laughs> you know what's funny? I was um, before the show. I was uh, watching or watching. I was on Twitter. Oh, in, I thought he was gonna say uh, I was watching porn. I was watching <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> I was watching porn. Up <laughs> and uh, it's, it's uh, one of my bookmarks. Have you guys ever seen the uh, music video for a song? From Mike Snow called Genghis Khan. Have you ever seen this before? I have not. No, please explain it. Oh, oh, you would Mike like Snow this, Justin. It, it is no. Mike, whatever. The, I call him Mike Snow. I don't give a fuck. Mike. Uh, yes, he's supposed with two <laughs> eyes. Whatever. Hey, I'm calling him Mike Snow. Mike, whatever Mike. the fuck. He has a, a, a song called Genghis Khan, Genghis. but it's it's a James Bond <laughs> uh, 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 parody kind of where. The guy, it's not Goldfinger. He has like a golden nose. You should look this up as I'm talking. But Goldschnaz? he's going to torture James Bond with the Goldfinger laser. No, I expect you to die, that laser. Mm. But like he get, like he runs out of time, so he goes home to his wife, the gold, the villain, and like he's like up, upset about his life, where he he just he's not satisfied by his wife and his kids, and yeah. And then he goes back, and then you realize he's in love with James Bond. The whole video is. Wow. About the villain falling in love with James Bond, and at the end, the villain spoiler alert for the video that came out twenty years ago. Uh, they, 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 James Bond and the villain like raise the family, and the wife turns into the villain. I would just highly recommend watching it because it's oh. really well done. <laughs> they, well, who's the James? They, they raise James Bond's family or new family that they create? No, no. It, the whole the, the the main character is the bad guy. I'm just gonna yeah. call him Gold Nose because he has a golden nose, but he looks like oh, uh, no. he looks like Renard from uh, World Is Not Enough, but he has a golden knows so he looks and, like the guy in the world eater in uh and uh what do you call it the uh the mad max movie sure y- yes looks like but that's very skinny yeah and uh oh, the, the okay. james bond guy looks kind of like uh matt matt smith a little bit but okay. uh uh they it, it, i was like wow this is very progressive like a almost a, a james bond villain who was wrestling with his own sexuality at the very and then james bond wrestles with i was just like wow why have i not ever heard of this video before it's really really good it, it, it's a deep state conspiracy deep state like, conspiracy you gotta, you gotta, you gotta it. burn every copy yeah, like, look james bond <laughs> loves the pussy <laughs> and that's the end of it and that's, that's the, that's, that's that's the broccoli's about it the broccoli's will tell you right away we must destroy every copy of this pretty this, much <laughs> we can't have james blasphemous bond Mk Snow. Yeah, no, he's he's, he's kidnapped. Guy. He's caught. Yeah, he's he, he, <laughs> and, they, and he essentially forces him to change his his way. Well, he doesn't force him. He lets him go. The the, the James Bond villain comes back. He's going to kill him. He stops. And he lets Bond go. So Bond is escaping, and as he's escaping, he stops himself and goes, "No, I think I'm in love with this guy." Well, he's just and I'm like, like, into, like I'm really captivated by this story they're playing. But how's the song? Scenarios. The song's good. Yeah. The song's good. Huh? The song's it's, good. It's, it's, Mike, 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 whatever the fuck you want to call him. Stone. I call him John he makes Snow. good music. Yeah. yeah. I call him John. John Snow call makes him, good music. He made it. First time I heard of him, he made a song for Justified, a TV show that I, I, I really, really like. Is it very ootsy? Because like, okay. usually his stuff is like oots, oots, oots. Yeah, it's very like kind of like Jamiroquai kind of music. Cool. But, uh, it's still good. It was it was fine. I did. I wasn't. The song is fine, but it wasn't even the song that caught me off guard. I was like, "Wow, one this, whoever directed this, this is very well done." Two, very interesting take on James Bond. A take I have not seen before. <laughs> I take. I'll check it out. I will do that for you. We are in some lonely times right now. It's true. Has anybody seen Patrick Wilson? Where's Patrick Martin. Wilson and uh, Vera Formiga? They are life. The- Art's imitating Patrick, life. Patrick once Wilson again. is filming the sequel to prequel to Aquaman. Oh Jesus, why? O- ocean masturbator <laughs> you've been waiting your whole life to tell that joke <laughs> not just the last like semen wars Oxen. three yes semen <laughs> apocadip apocadix apocadix <laughs>
<laughs> that's where it's dark. That's where Dark Seed is from. He's from. Oh Apocadix. Jesus! It's not Dark, dark Seed. Oh, you know, Dark what? Seed from Apocadix. <laughs> You can't take everything from DC Comics and add dick to it, okay? You can't do that. You can't I'll make it... Cy c- porn. Why not? Them. DC does <laughs> that. Us. Yeah, they fuck their own shit up. I'm <laughs> just helping them out. They've been, they've been fucking... They've been pissing on their, their shit for a while for now. 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's, time, it's time to piss on the DC parade. <laughs> Again? Let's just jump back on the DC... On the we've DC made a career out of DC, pissing on the DC, DC parade. DC is the homeless guy under the bridge <laughs> that people keep you on at. It's probably not. Get away from me, you old bastard. It's probably not right. You should probably just can let I, them go. Can you just give me a quarter? Can I get a quarter, please? Get away from me. That's what I would do. I haven't me. eaten in three days, please. Can I just... <laughs> well, they're going to need it because they're not making uh, comic books anymore, apparently. I right? noticed. They're, 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 but they're, old they're, Jim uh, Lee. Old Jimmy Lee. Jimmy, Jimmy Jimbo Wayne. Lee. Is, is he in it's charge Jimbo of DC Lee. Comics now? It was either him or Jeff Johns, one of the two. Oh, the, Jeff Johns apparently... Uh, Bad shit came out about him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, apparently he's threatening people. No, really? is that Jeff Loeb I'm thinking of? Jeff Loeb is the one yeah, that had Jeff bad Loeb things. Jeff Loeb is the one. That was the one that had bad well, things. Jeff Loeb didn't like Asian people. Jason, Jeff Loeb's against Asians. Yeah, he's <laughs> basically like, hey, Jim Lee, I don't like you. Because why? It's like, because I don't know, your, your eyes are a little weird looking. Because it's weird when like it's like a, like a crew member or like <laughs> is that authentic? Is that verbatim? Or, that, you know, that's basically what Jeff. <laughs> no, Loeb no, said. The, that's directly and, and, from Jeff Loeb's mouth. No, an Besides actor from the mouth. show came out and like like a, a, a prominent actor, like one of the main villains, yeah. and had like a six minute diatribe about how Jeff Loeb doesn't like Asian people. Oh, wow. Well, I no, know, I know, mean, you know. So, when you when Cyclops. you can't spell your name correctly and your name is J E P H, not Canadian. regular Jeff. He's Canadian. It doesn't matter. I know. I know plenty of Canadians that spell. Their you don't name like Jeff's? We spell G O F G E O F F in the. That's, that's Joff. Joff. <laughs> just like when uh, what is it? Um, we love you, Tom. Canada. You know when they put T H O M. It's not it, it, Tom. You don't like those Toms? It's, it's Tom. <laughs> it's not Tom. Look, get rid of the extra H. You don't like silent mind. letters, Matthew? Not a fan of silent letters. What? Well, well, because it's just being selfish and including like, why do you want an extra letter in your name? Who wouldn't want an extra letter? And that's name? the problem with DC. I don't. Oh, yeah, the problem with DC. Too many to spell letters. Your name on paper. <laughs> it takes you know, DC extra. Comics is redundant, so it is, it is an extra letter. Detective DC Comics. Comic is, comics? Yeah, the DC Comic Comics. Yeah, <laughs> just it's called comic D Comics. comics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Detective Comic Comics. <laughs> I don't think they really knew that they were going to back themselves into a corner like that. No, they, I don't think they knew. Maybe they, they did. Period. Maybe they're just trying to hope that somebody's like, "Hey, I got some money." <laughs> hey, I'm Marvel. That's my pitch. I got some I got money. Some money. <laughs> you guys need help? <laughs> What's up? Yeah. Uh, I think they were just broke? like. I think they were just like, um, taking the fish out and kind of just putting in front of the cat of of Disney and was like, "Hey, you can buy us too. We're we're cheap. <laughs> please, 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 eighteen. Anybody? T- time? Whatever anybody? you want. Anybody? Whatever you need. We'll wash your we car put for weeks. We'll clean your windshields." <laughs> <laughs> they're the guy squirting your windshield. Yeah, he's, the they're, the, they're the squeegee men. It goes all back to the. Uh, you use a dirty water. Get out. Get away from my car. Dirty water. God damn it, DC. <laughs> it doesn't work. Stop making it dark. <laughs> you don't have to make it it's dark. It's raining outside. Get out of here. <laughs> they pay electric. Batman's not the same as Superman. Or <laughs> why don't you understand that? Time for the game that requires little to no effort to play along with. So it'll probably crash and burn, knowing these guys. It's Word Association. All right, Word Association, this is the uh, segment where I will uh, posit a uh, news story or a story in general, and uh, Matt and Justin will give me uh, the first word that comes to mind. Uh, I'm got, I, it's been a really slow news month here, so you, please forgive me in advance. It's all right. Nothing's it's really close. happening. It's been quite it's a year. Hard. Anything's really been going on. Oh, yeah, it's COVID and COVID, and uh, hey, there's no mail. Okay, here we go. Like. My cousin COVID. Uh, movies premiering on VOD. Movies pr- premiering on VOD. Yes, in general. Finally. <laughs> Finally, this is you like this, huh? You're you're a fan. You're Hold a fan on. of movies premiering on VOD. I'm huh? fine with VOD. Okay. I'm fine with it because it's really it's, yeah. Because I think I think theaters are pretty much a, a dead area, right? But I don't. Appreciate the double dipping. Oh, you don't like the VOD and theaters, but who no, doesn't no, no, do that? No, nope. oh, didn't whoa, say what, that. What, 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 no. Oh, once you dip the chip, you end it, right? 
Right. Okay, no double dipping. No double dipping. You got Disney over here. You you pay me money a month. You get all this shit. Oh, on you yeah, don't like that, the, yeah, I gotta pay, I gotta pay for the yeah. I gotta pay and to then get, I get into money. the club. Oh. And then when I get yeah. into the club, it costs me more money. Well, yeah. it's like you go into the club, but hey, they got Cristal. You got to pay for the Cristal. The Mulan is Cristal. I don't want well, it. Don't like I don't Cristal. want it. I don't <laughs> want it, DJ. Yeah. You don't want some of that when white you're... star, that Moet? You want so I'm split. Fuck that shit. I hate it, and I like it. Oh. I like it if I can just pay for it without having to I want pay to pick. a monthly. Yeah. Well, if you do that, you know subscription prices are going to go fucking through Why the do roof. they need to be subscription prices? Why don't you just buy what you want? Yeah. Oh. Oh, what do you call it? A la carte, as they say in Franc. In, in Franc? In Franc. <laughs> in Francais? In Francais. You say a la carte. A la carte. So this, I, I, I thought carte. you guys would be against this. I thought you guys are big old, hey, I like the movie theater. I experience. love the movie theater, but you I like know going what? to movie theaters. It's not the same anymore. It's done. No, it's not. It's, it's really yeah, shitty, it's actually. It's been, well, the movie theater experience has been pretty shitty for a long time. For about 20, 30 and, and years, it's, probably. And it's only gotten worse because yeah. nobody. You know, that's why I choose to go to a theater alone. Uh, Ooh. Know, well, that, you know, those Tuesday. those adult theaters don't really count as a... Uh... They count. They, they, show, they show cinema. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Scorsese? You're determined what cinema it's is? It's mise-en-scene and some, <laughs> mise-en-scene. Uh, some Dutch angles or Dutch rudder well, that's, angle. That's not, a, that's, what they, that's not what they call it. That's not a Dutch angle. What you think is a Dutch angle and what they think is a Dutch angle, oh, two different oh, definitions sorry. of a Dutch <laughs> angle. The, yeah. the movie theater experience is probably one of the greatest experiences we as yeah, humans Yeah, man, you go and watch a big old, big old movie and yeah, you know, no, crowd I of people. Yeah, I agree. Popcorn, and... the whole shebang. But the problem is, Take it's dead. It's, and yeah, we're beating a dead horse, and we just need to walk away from it. <laughs> old, you want to old yeller the theaters, huh? You want to Listen, I went to a drive in movie theater um, mm-hmm. recently. I figured those would make a comeback great during this whole thing. It was a great experience. Yeah, they're, they're, they're Could have been better. Yeah. I'll give them credit. It was good. Mm-hmm. But it was fucking expensive. Oh, it was really? Fucking we, expensive. You pay, for the, you pay per car, right? What is it? Like, you pay per car. And it's like what twenty bucks a car or something like that. Up oh, to I guess because you don't, they don't want, like they want to make hours. sure you're paying for. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, well, how many people can you have in the car with yeah, you that's per the, car? That's the question. It was per car, so oh, you can pack okay. it full of you know eight. I'm sure, but right. you know you gotta be in your car, so it's gotta be yeah. comfortable, and you yeah. gotta leave your radio on, and you know mm-hmm. it's it's tough. Uh, you can't have the AC running because it creates noise. I mean, you, mm-hmm. you, you gotta you gotta. You can have your engine running, but you gotta keep your battery going. Yeah, keep your battery going. There's there's yeah. there's a whole back and forth. Oh, what wow. if you got a, you know, you got a bad battery? That. But if you have you a big area that. where you can have the car spread out and the engine mm-hmm. running, that's great. And mm-hmm. I think we should look at that as a as a as that should be what movie theaters should be from now on. I I feel like that's a a good good idea but i think you got to keep the price uh reasonable um if you're gonna pay fifty dollars a car it's kind of ridiculous i think Ooh, fifty fifty dollars bro <laughs> yeah. did, did, did they have like a did they have like a concession stand set up or you can go to the concession yes. stand or have, or was it like more food trucks and shit like i assume so food trucks would be day great day. i don't know I oh think see that's that see that would be great weird, but they had a really concession stand up Okay, so it was like a, a, a legit old school like driving. Yeah, but the theater. but the projector was not um, the screen was not as big. It should have been bigger. Mm. This was an afterthought, clearly. Um, yeah, like, but what I would have done money? is I would have painted the movie because it was at a movie theater um, parking lot right. on mm. one side, not on the front, but on the side. It was if you're looking at the theater, it was to the right. Okay, what okay. I would have done. Is fucking painted that whole thing white that side because fuck it, you don't need side. it anymore. Yeah, bring that projector back, throw it further, make it nice and fucking big so people on the streets can see it. You know, and you create that that whole experience. But when everyone's huddled around a smaller screen, it's uh, you know, it's it's still fun, but at yeah. the same time. If I could just rent a new movie at home and be yeah. comfortable, because you get it, when the drive. Only thing I tell you, you lose at the drive-in is you lose the the surround sound immersiveness. Oh because yeah, sure. You, your well, car you is not going to have like. Home. Yeah, I can do yeah. that in my house. <laughs> do that well, fine. I'm sorry. I love theaters. I have nothing against them, but they've gone the way. People are assholes. Of, uh, <laughs> people, people are assholes. assholes. I don't like people. <laughs> People yeah, I fucking eight people. So. Well, how many how many movies are really actually worth the movie theater experience? Only the big too? ones. That's what yeah. I've been so talking about for months. A Only handful, the big ones. A handful, literally of a handful. Movies. 
Are yeah. you going to watch Portrait of a Lady on Fire in a theater? No. no. I mean, I might go <laughs> to like a little, that? you know, that's either maybe if I'm feeling saucy, I go to a uh, oh, oh, a, a, a little like art house theater, saucy. like a little little tiny theater, or I guess watch this shit at home. You go, you go see Portrait of a Lady on Fire is one where you go to the theater with the with the tables of the restaurant. That's where I would go watch that. But if yeah. it's like a big like if it's like a, a, an end game or a, I guess an avatar, it's, it's, something it's like that, I would experience film. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah. It's like a Mission good. Impossible Fallout. I had to see that in IMAX, and, I, and it was worth my money because it was like fuck. I'm like I'm yeah. in the helicopter. It's like crazy shit. Yeah, but you know, but it's still like, a great movie at home. Oh shit, it is. I watched yeah, it in my house it's still, uh, it's a great last movie month. It was great, on and and I can watch it when I'm butt ass naked. Yeah. Yep, sure. oiled wait, up, wait, ready to go, ready to go. That's an issue that you always you know. I can get up and. Fucking take a piss. Matthew without, only likes mind. movies where he gets to go naked. If you can't allow him I that, mean, the freedom. Yeah. You should be paying me. I should be paying you're, for the VOD You're getting price. two movies in one. Yeah. I'm making, I'm making my own movie. We might have to start I'm streaming making us, us naked watching movies. Then, yeah. Yeah. Like, wait, have, have like only fans strategically <laughs> over like our nipples and man parts and everything and yeah you know people will, you know people will watch hey, that somebody's got to kick that's out a that, vod you know? i would pay for that's, sure. a, that's, that's a vod sure. somebody's gonna pay for that's somebody vod will. right there and somebody in oklahoma the city uh next one <laughs> nurse ratchet prequel series <sighs> who fucking cares really um, really cares? why who cares Oh, I, did you see the trailer for this? Here you go, masturbatory. Oh, why are you down on this? I thought you would love this. I don't know, because I saw One Flew Over the Cougar's Nest, and that was pretty good. She looks good in this. Sarah Paulson, Sarah Paulson, I got, awesome. I got no problem with Sarah Paulson. I just don't... I what did don't Sarah know. Paulson do to you? Where did Sarah Paul? Where does Sarah Paulson touch? Gla- Are you so pissed off from Glass? Is that what's wrong? With you? No, I never, I never saw that, so that that didn't bother me. That's at least my the fuck out of me. I don't know. Is this uh, what's his name? Uh, Ryan Murphy doing? Ryan this? Murphy, yeah. Look, the trailer. Oh, yeah, look, I no, thought it looked so, good. So, so she looked of, good in the trailer, at least. Well, what's I mean, the point? She's, she's a white woman playing a nurse. <laughs> Wait, did you like? Did you like uh, Bates Motel? Because that's, that's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of Bates Motel. I like I like Vera Fergama better than. Sure. Formiga, so you get a, son of a you bitch. You get a mentally Formiga, ill Formiga, person Formiga, every Formiga, week. Formiga. Is that the stick of this? I think it's supposed to show her rise and taking over the hospital. That's what I think the whole uh-huh. point is. Yeah, that's probably uh, really... But when I watched have, like, One like, Flew Over like, fucking Cuckoo's people Nest, and murdering that's what people. I wanted. <laughs> that's what I really wanted to know. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen Cuckoo's Nest since remember I was when, Remember when we really all said, like, oh, Han Solo. We don't need a Han Solo. Uh, oh, you think Han it's Solo Nurse Ratch is that kind of thing, yeah, huh? Yeah, well, even really? worse. Yeah. Really? Are there enough people who really care we about... We want to like, know where she gets like, her gown at. And, yeah, like, where's that hat come yeah. from? But she's but like that. a... I, see, me, maybe it's me. I like sociopath movies just to... Just to, cause when, just to get delve into the psyche of them, like a Nightcrawler <laughs> sure. or... A, Hannibal Lecter, she's di- clearly a sociopath, and it just, I, I, I just find well, that I think interesting. They're making her out to be more. I mean, I haven't seen Cuckoo's Nest in a while, but I never took her as like a so- sociopath. Oh, what? Like, she's a sociopath, clearly. I, I, I fucking I, don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, I, I feel like a so- I feel I feel like a sociopath is different. It's it's kind of a different. She thing. lacks she, empathy. Sociopaths have no concept of empathy. Hmm. She, 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 she should be the president. <laughs> She, she I want, I want to see the I want to see the Donald Trump prequel. No, I, we're gonna get that with Brendan Gleeson. He's playing him. Uh, He's playing the, Donald Trump. Yeah, and uh, who the ah. hell's playing? Somebody else is in that movie. Or yeah, but Nurse Ratched, I, just, I, don't I don't care. I don't care. I feel I feel like the ship has sailed on all these uh, why series is like these um, Ryan Murphy series is where it's like all the American Thor. You didn't like that? Uh, and, uh, what was that? What was that movie he made or TV um, series he made with J- uh, Jessica Lange and? Um, Oh, the feud, I think it was yes, called. The feud. Oh, the feud. Yeah. Yeah, I never saw. It. I heard it that was, was great. That, that was pretty entertaining because I like both those those actresses, and I like. I find like, that to with, be it was different. With, uh, Betty Betty Davis and who it was Betty Davis and who else was it? Oh fuck. What's her name? Uh, Fate, not Fate, Pepper. No, uh, no, the lady from uh, Gone with the Wind. That just oh, uh, oh uh, Hera? Uh, was, oh, yeah, the Havlin. The Havlin. Sure. It was be- the, no more wire hair. Fucking Mommy Dearest. What's your name? Olivia the Havlin? No. <laughs> Collins? That's the one from Gone with the Wind. No more wire hangers. Joan oh. Crawford. Sorry. <laughs> Joan Crawford. Crawford. Joan Crawford. <laughs> yeah. Joan Crawford and Betty Davis. And, like, they oh, okay, okay. Each other. It was, <laughs> no yeah. more wire hangers. That's the first thing that pops into your fucking mind. 
You don't remember that? That shit was fucked I up. I do remember movie, that. This is why. Your kid with the fucking hangers, man. I like, bet you in, her, her, in heaven. Up. She's like, is that the only thing they remember from me? That's a good. That's a. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a good time to just kind of show you how times have changed. So. When, when the mother dies, they write a book and be like, listen, you know, this was hell living with this woman. And then right, they made yeah. a movie to even show yeah. it even more. And people right. were still like, yeah, we don't know. That's not how we imagine her. Yeah, Did you imagine sorry. that happening today? Oh, no. I never know. Sorry, Joan. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you right now. Okay, here's, a, here's another one. Moment. Next one here, which is probably going to get the same fucking response. Yeah. Night no, Rider movie. Get a better one, maybe. Night Rider movie. Night- with who? That's, some, that's something I've been asking for. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they've cast it yet, but they said it's it's in development. You know what well, I'm mean? free. Development. I'm free, if anyone's wondering. Hey, oh, yeah. look, look, just, that's a J- Justin's going to play the car. I'll do uh, you know, minimum <laughs> oh, wage. <laughs> $15 an hour. Yep. <laughs> I'll bring my own little jacket. <laughs> yeah. I'll take scale pay. Who would you want to play? Would you want to play Michael Knight or the car? I think I'd rather be the car. You want to be the voice of the car? Yeah, the car would be more fun. I I don't know. I um, yeah, yeah maybe. Me, that me and my, be kind my of underwear fun. doing that thing. It'd be like a Tesla or something this time around. Hot, See, hot, I, the thing about Knight hot, Rider, I don't know. Is, I, 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 again, I say this in the realm of Fast and the Furious, but car. Yeah, my hot steamy voice, right? Steamy voice. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> oh no, we're going through the drive-through again. Turbo boost me, Michael. In and out. <laughs> Why don't they? they should, uh, hopefully, they'll just make it like a comedy, like a like a like a small like a, yeah, but I like mean, a green horn you, rider. What can yeah. you do with a car? Green and I horse. again, I I gotta keep keeping fast and the furies in the back. Well, of my here's mind. the thing: we live in a world so now bad. where this is physically possible. Our car can talk yeah. to you. Can talk to you. So, exactly. What's the, what's the novelty of it? Well, it's gonna be the action, of course. Yeah, the action's yeah. gotta be hot. And steamy, hot, hot steamy action. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of the uh, little inside joke there. Uh, if you want to know the joke, pay attention to our social media. Um, yeah, exactly. it's, it's, it's getting big. It's, it's so big, it's getting taken down. Sh- shit, yeah. yeah, shit's being taken down. Um, I love the uh, the A Team movie that they did years back. You know what's funny? That movie's gaining ground. I enjoy that. People that, coming that movie, out that movie's it. aged better. I don't Way know. better than it was supposed people to. Hate, why do the people hate I think it was just like, this movie's so, <sighs> It's outrageous. Stupid. It's crazy. And that's yeah. what I want. Yeah. I want but something. Everybody, everybody loves these fucking goddamn Fast and the Furious movies, which are just as dumb and... Ver- I'm, I'm sorry, I was going to use a bad word. Dumb and going ridiculous. Into, ridiculous. Going toward the, like when they were making it, I was like, this could work. This is actually... I saw it in the theater. I thought it worked great. Yeah, I, I had no problem and really had a good with cast. it. No, I, I watched it. No, I watched what was it Liam Neeson last year. I think Bradley Cooper was perfectly cast yeah. as face man. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I mean, the worst part was probably what Jessica Biel. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, wasn't she was in it. Wasn't Patrick she? Wilson was having a fucking blast in that movie. I forgot he's in that. Fu- is he he's great that? in that movie. Is he, is he like one of the A team members? Or he's like Mister. He's like one. There's a there's a running gag where there's a he's a, an agent. a, a, a an agent uh, that have okay. a name, and they replace him with an agent that has the same name. And it's an actor, like a famous actor replaces him. I can't. I think it's John Hamm. John Hamm yes, replaces him end. at the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that movie's good. That mo- kids a- go watch the A Team from uh, 2000. Yeah, I might have to watch it. I'll do a review. Was, yeah, what was that like? Oh, oh, five, oh, three. I can't remember. It was, I think it's like I 08. had fun. It it's one of those like right stupid. After, it's a Hobbs and Shaw e yeah. type of fun dumb. But if Knight Rider did that, I think yeah. that would be pretty good. If they played it serious, I don't know. Do it like Baby Maybe. Driver. Get Edgar Wright to do my Knight Rider. Yeah, well, I can imagine just what Knight Rider is going to be like. They're going to have all these cameos with like Elon Musk, and they're going to they're going to they're going to play hey, against is that, type. Hey, is that car bulletproof? Ooh, they're going to, but they're going to play against car. type. They're going to do what they did with Green Hornet, where they're going to get some because Michael Knight's supposed to be this machismo g- yeah, David Hassel. The they're going to get like yeah. Seth Rogen or some fucking <laughs> Jack Black or somebody to play Michael Knight. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, who would they get it? Like, they, they're not gonna, well, because remember he's supposed to have a Hasselhoff facelift. Will be in it in some way. Maybe he'll be the bad guy. That'd be cool. Because remember, be Michael Knight in uh, kids in the TV show Knight Rider. Michael Knight was a guy who uh, I guess Found they, the magic got, car. No, he, well, no, he was uh, <laughs> brought aboard because they, and they changed his face to look like you know they changed his identity, and uh, he was working for that old rich guy in the back of that truck. What the fuck was the name of that guy? Oh fuck, it's it gonna bother me now. I uh, maybe was it Robert yeah. Vaughn or something. Something like I no, no, no I, Robert Vaughn's A team. That's A team, buddy. <laughs> Robert Vaughn from mine from Uncle's. I never really watched Knight Rider, so I don't know. I, I, I just yeah, don't I never Rider. watched it. You know the it's theme a lot song. Of, it's but... a lot of shows. It's a lot of like episodes where oh, Michael, we're stuck in a. They drop sand on me. Uh, how do we get out? Uh, Turbo boost. <laughs> 
Yeah, basically, this is all the answer for all everything. these like but all these buttons that the kit. I think that'd be kind of cool. Has. I just be. I think. Yeah. I think depends on how they present it, and um, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say if it was a raunchy comedy, it would work. Actually, I kind of mm -hmm. think if, if they kind of took it a little serious, it might actually be better. Do as serious as like a like a sequel to it. It's like. You you make the point of like I just the car say, is like the car is obsolete. Have but you seen Baywatch? Has, yeah. I have seen Baywatch, yeah. and that's like Don't outrageous, that. right? That's it's bad. That's beyond outrageous comedy and, and this and really, that. Really and I don't bad. think that would be the right idea. I think you need to keep it straight. Of course, you're going to make it a little yeah. bit jokey, but right. believe it or not, it's not too far fetched anymore. Yeah, yeah. That that's fun. what I'm saying. Is like back in like the '80s. Talking anything was like holy fuck. The thing is now talking to me. Car talking. Holy shit! But that, now it's like oh, it's talking to me. Yeah, cars <laughs> okay. talk to, yeah. Cars right. are always talking. Yeah, I mean, my Alexa television can tell me a joke, literally. Yeah. So it was like, what, what the fuck are we gonna do? Yeah, she says, uh, "Go in the bathroom and pull it on your pants." <laughs> pull on yeah. your pants. Look down. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy. <isn't> it? <laughs> Speaking Alexa. of taking it seriously, we got a couple. Uh, we got a couple reboots coming here, so I'm going to give you oh, two love one it. reboots, wow. one after the other. Uh, Rapid a fire reboot. A Fresh Prince dramatic reboot is what we're talking about. Yeah, Fresh Prince dramatic. Um, uh. why? <laughs> That's something yeah, else. Come on, it's low hanging fruit. You can't get sick. You know, it's, again, you guys didn't watch the OC, but the OC was essentially what a Fresh Prince dramatic reboot would be. I watched a couple episodes of it. it, was, it it's yeah, but it wasn't was called from the... Fresh Prince. Right. Yeah, Fresh Prince. My point is if you're going to remake it, make it. But why? Because you're just utilizing the name? That's it? I get, it's the name. Definitely. So you're not yeah, so really you're confident hire, yeah. in your material? and If you get Will Smith as Uncle Phil. And you make it like fucking like, like, per, like, well, it's Pursuit like Uncle, of Happiness. Instead of Uncle Phil, it's Uncle Will. <laughs> Uncle Will, and it's like super dramatic, and it's fucking crying like Pursuit of Happiness and shit. <laughs> and then you have some, some like really interesting subplot about like having sex out, outside of your marriage. Oh like, your no, too, too soon, too soon. <laughs> I mean, I think well, life Im life should imitate a little bit of art. You want Jada, art you want Jada Pinkett to be Uncle Will's? <laughs> yeah, like I want, I'm, yeah, it's like and there's, there's like a big like. One of the big storylines for the thing is about cuckolding or something Cuck like that. Is this for, is this for Peacock? <laughs> I don't might know. Be I might be. Well, they're, they're bringing it back. Well, I think I think I know what's coming up next. In thing. If we're they're talking, bringing up a couple. If we're going to be talking about Peacock. So. Yeah, we're going to talk about a whole bunch yeah. of shit. All right, go to the next one. That's a, that's a yeah. stupid next idea. Next one is obviously. a Saved that's by a the Bell idea. reboot. There you go. There's your Peacock. Right there's your Peacock. more curious about this. I think this would work better if they don't make it fucking serious. Have you seen the trailer for it? I have not. No. It, I've, uh, I've seen it. It, it, it looks... Silly. There's the one same? really good joke. It's like all the same. Like pretty much everybody is coming back, right? I think everybody's coming back. Uh, I, all I saw was uh, Jesse and AC Slater. I, yeah, I, I saw both Mark of them. Vor I think they're I burying Mark the lead. Voorhees. I think they're definitely going to bury the lead. Well, they're obviously not going to see... probably have what's her name back. <laughs> Who? Uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Cord uh, why? Why not? Why, why not her? The black girl. What, Look, what, yeah, what happened to Mark Voorhees? What happened to her? Oh, did she, she dead? No, no. <laughs> she, she, she's like a whack job, isn't she? She's like... Oh, I don't know. She's like, no, you, she's like a hardcore uh, Republican. And... No, no, that's Stacey Dash you're thinking Stacey of. That's Stacey Dash. Which is... They're probably, probably going to talk about that in a minute, too, because they, don't they want to bring that back as they well? They also want to bring back Clueless. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these are shows that. I never watched. <laughs> I like the yeah, Saved think... by the Bell movie when they went oh. to Vegas. Yeah. I is it really remember. a movie that they go to Vegas? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not as bad as I like sound. Summer trip or they something went to like college. That. They went to Vegas. Well, they those are little shows. House. The Next Generation. Next Generation. Well, the Beach House was pretty good, too. That was like the summer The one in Vegas was cool because Lord Voorhees, like marries a Native American at the end of the movie. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah it, yeah, it it was wild. Man. It was, and she's like dressed in full like Indian regalia. It was minus weird. It, but no headdress, but oh, good. she didn't have a headdress. Why do you remember up, that? <laughs> I forgot. To, I might, I might have to sit down and just go through them and watch them finally. It used to there's be a, on there's TNT a good the joke time. in the new one. There's a great joke that they could have made it better, where it's Jesse Spano slapping some kid holds up a, a bottle of pills. And she uh -huh. runs up and slaps them out of their hands. She goes, "Are those caffeine pills?" Like, and she, she kind of so makes excited. a joke about the, you get. I get you get. First off, you get really, you get excited, really excited. And, then, and, and I, I thought she was gonna make a showgirls reference. That's what I was hoping she was gonna make. Seems like a lot of people want her somehow to have uh, the showgirl like uh, universe. Convert, yeah, I thought uh, I, that's where I thought the joke was going. Where you thing. you take these pills and then suddenly you end up in Vegas kicking a girl do down the stairs or something. Like, yeah. That'd have been perfect. That's and all you, you had to and say. You, and then you fuck Kyle McLaughlin. In a pool. You fuck Kyle McLaughlin in a pool. 
and you give uh, the guy from uh, South Central a lap dance, and he jerks, he jerks off of himself. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rewatch Showgirls. I, gotta talk to Tim, I think I gotta talk to Tim about that. Yeah, she's kids, Showgirls, uh, good movie. Sugar. What a classic. Paul, poor See, Vol- that I've Paul, seen. Uh, Vorhoven's Vor- Vor- uh, like uh, Magnus Opus. It, okay, what, what would you prefer? Robocop or Showgirl? <laughs> God, imagine if like same guy. In the same universe. God, please let it be in the same fucking universe. Show girls are rogue. I mean, one's in Detroit, one's in Vegas. It could be happy. Bitches time. leave, just bitches know. come. Yeah, come and <laughs> just come and go. Bitches. <laughs> I just want all the worlds of Paul, Paul Vor, 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 Vorhoven like colliding into each other. So you got Total like, Recall. Yeah, you got and, you know, show, show girls, girls and you got Robocop. Robocop. <laughs> what a world! And I'm sure you have something else. Oh, and Hollow Man is in there oh, somewhere fuck, too. Like yeah, fucking Man. turning motherfuckers invisible. And, shit. and he also just did a drama like recently. It was like like a like a period. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck about that. <laughs> Let's throw that in there. I think it was a Mad Mickelson. The four film. you need. There's only four films you need from. There's only four you need. Good old from good old Polly. <laughs> Polly. Uh, the other one here is uh, I have is a. Uh, Three Men and the Little Baby reboot with Zac Efron. Speaking of, <laughs> oh <laughs> great! Like, is this like a jokey thing like Baywatch? I, I guess. Is there a trailer? No, no. It's, it's just again is development. He the, is he the baby? <laughs> you know that would make it interesting if he was the baby. Why did he put like his face on a baby? <laughs> you got to get like you know this is a this is a a movie that could have been done in like 1999 like with Breck and Meyer and like uh, oh, yeah, Seth exactly. Green. Yeah. Get those. Like the, the, no. The, all those little fucking guys in the same fucking movie. All the fucking nineties mother, the two, the all the nineties kids. Nineties guys, yeah, have was it Jamie uh, Kennedy's in there Jamie somewhere? Jamie Kennedy and who's who's Stifler? What's his name? Uh, oh, uh, fucking John William Scott, John William Scott, Thomas. John William Scott, Thomas, John William Scott, whatever. <laughs> fucking Wendy, fucking Fred, Fred Thomas. You can do, you can do Jason Biggs, Sean William Scott, and uh, James Vanderbeek. Van, oh fucking Vanderbeek. He's, he's a Vandy. The he's Vanderbeek. the Tom Selleck character. I guess I guess uh, Jason Biggs is the 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 the, the uh, Mahoney. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, he's he's the he's the Goot. <laughs> Gutenberg. Yeah. No no no. <laughs> fucking Vanderbeek has to be the Goot. No, Vanderbeek's like seven feet tall. He has to be Tom Selleck easily. It, it, what I mean, then you have the three guys originally, or the the grandfathers now, or something like that. I have no they're, idea their dad said, "Hey, with this. you've never there, seen." First up, you've, first up, Justin, you've we never had seen to raise a baby. baby I have, of course. I've seen all two. There, okay, it's Ted Danson. <laughs> all two. It's Steve Gutenberg. It's I know. Tom Selleck. The Leonard Nimoy directed it. Yeah, the Leonard first Nimoy one. directed it. Yeah. Did he do the second one? Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so either. The second one. He was taking photos. It's one of those. And a little lady. It's one of those DVDs yeah. that I I I have in my collection. That <laughs> the first film is the correct ratio, um, right. sixteen by nine, and then of course the second movie, just a random four three, just oh fucking throw they it just, on they there. They didn't give a fucking. They didn't care anymore. They just fucking. They don't have time for this extra frame. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> We shot this purpose. This was formatted for the TVs back then. We're not even going to bother going back to the original. <laughs> TVs Isn't that the movie that had a ghost TV. in it? Is that the movie that uh, had a ghost one, in it? The first one, yeah. The first the ghost one, right. supposedly was uh, somewhere. It was the, the Blowing, ghost of uh, Captain Kirk. It's the ghost of Kirk. The ghost of Kirk. <laughs> That's the new Star Trek film, The Ghost of Kirk. Leonard thought it would be interesting if they had some kind of supernatural element to the Three Men and a Little Baby. Yeah, he's like, I am Spock here. I, I can, uh, I'd be fine I can, with uh, a remake of The Three Men and a Baby. Yeah, I just don't care. I just really. see it turning into something things. else that it probably shouldn't. It'd be like, like uh, three. Well, we'll let them decide who they want to be called and a baby. Oh, wait a minute! Oh. I know where oh. you're going. <laughs> Little three, uh, three, three people, people and a baby. <laughs> and a baby. <laughs> yeah, it's probably what it's well, going to be called. Well, three persons well, and a baby. <laughs> three humans and a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to Isn't be the human, baby though. a human. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia Munn, Zac Efron, and <laughs> what? I, I'm surprised they don't make it three women and a baby. And, uh, um, no, th- then that's sexist. You can't do that. Why? You can't. You, can't, you Wait, have to be what? in the middle. Hold on. So you saying all three, women can do is so you raise babies? That's right. That's sexist. No, no, you can't do that. Oh, no, no. that's stupid. They can't do that. No, really? no, 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 no. So no only, no. only men are fish out of water when it comes to raising kids. We don't, we don't know. know about, we don't know anything about What's raising what? kids. This we're, kid we're is savages. peeing in his diaper. I'm just what a what? stupid man that has no <laughs> idea <laughs> what no to idea do. What I, 
Yeah, I hate to tell you, that's the whole do. point of the first movie is that, what do we do? I'm, yeah. We're bachelors. Why are we raise yeah. this kid? That's the whole fucking movie. <laughs> We've been fucking chicks forever. We never that's had all the movie is. That's the whole movie. I, they can't figure out who... It's, 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 I guess it's Mamma Mia. Ah. Because isn't that yeah. the whole Mamma Mia movie trying to figure out who the father they is? Reversal. The father. Yeah, it's like yeah. Reversal one. It's I guarantee a, you when a, they remake this movie, it's going to one of them, like Zach Zephron or something, is going to be like fucking on Tinder or something and be like, I can't do it tonight. I got a woman. I got my friend. I swiped left too many times. I got a date. I got a hot date. I got to watch this date. kid. He has to keep the. He's gonna keep the kid in like a stroller, and he's gonna start picking up chicks. Oh, I he got wacky hijinks. Wacky hijinks ensue. He's, he's using. We've the just kid. written this movie. <laughs> Yeah. Done. I don't think it's hire us for the fucking movie. No, the yeah, well, I think we well, can do it. Minimum wage. I don't want anything to do with three, this. three guys, one room, one baby. <laughs> oh no! Hot steamy boys. Uh, last one here is a uh, Ren and Snippy reboot. Is it what's gonna? Uh, is that pedophile gonna do it Wait, again? Tell me, tell me the history of this because I was what the John unsure. K. pedophilia thing. Yeah, I was unsure of the history of the guy who made Ren and Snippy. He's, he's a creep. He's a creep. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's oh, you know, well, he's not a pedophile, I would say, but he's definitely a guy who takes advantage of uh, younger uh, oh, being in damn, charge of that, females. Right? Being in charge. Yeah, he's a guy who likes he likes what he wants and he wants what he likes. If I'm not, oh, like not mistaken, guy or lady, um, this woman, this girl, came and interned or something, right, for him. Yeah, and it was a whole was. thing. Was yeah. Oh, I didn't know. It was like Ooh. a fatal attraction. But I think there's a good YouTube video close. that explains it. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from that. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want no algorithm tracking me after that point. <laughs> I thought they. I thought they already tried to reboot Ren and Stimpy like a few years back, and it was like, yeah, I could have sworn they did too. And I saw well. like a, a thing for it. I was like, really? Who's doing it? Not and not who's doing it? It's Comedy Central, sure. maybe or something like that. I'm like, yeah, it is Comedy Central. It is, it's I just can't Nickelodeon. see that working today on a major network. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I mean, you have, they, I mean, you have all sorts of fucked up cartoons for everything, so I don't know. It could work, but yeah, I could see it working you know, on. Comedy HBO Central Max. or yeah. some YouTube series or something like that, yeah. but I can't see it on be broadcast. Were you guys fans of Ren and Snippy when it came out? Because I don't know. I, I think I liked. It. It. I, thought, I thought it was. I enjoyed fun. it. As a kid, I, I felt it, like though. I was watching something weird. I was like, "This is fucking." Yeah, it almost felt like an adult show that you weren't supposed yeah, to watch. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, if you watch it again today, you'll there is some fucking over the top things that oh, yeah. you didn't realize, and that's with oh, a yeah. lot of things. Again, I don't want to keep bringing this up, but. Beethoven is about <laughs> kidnapping dog a dog to utilize a new invented bullet that explodes on impact, and they need a human skull, and they kidnap Beethoven and yeah, wacky this, hijinks. The, the what? Closest, the closest, the closest <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. First off, first off, I don't, I, this skull. whole I don't want to keep saying this. This is the first time I've ever heard you say that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Because you've never really watched Beethoven. That's I don't watch Beethoven. I don't. It, but you haven't watched. It. I've never paid attention to I just, it. Now, just gave out a review <laughs> the other day. Yeah. If, if I gotta read this read review, review now, I did not That's know Beethoven it's, was about it's, dog murder. It's, it's pretty much. Yeah. Do you not remember that? Because I did it. I no don't remember does. that. I remember Grodin, Stanley, tu- Stanley Tucci, and Oliver Platt Char- are like kidnapping Charles dogs. Charles Gordon. It's hilarious. It's funny, yeah. right? But then when you yeah, sit down yeah. and watch it, it's literally about. These guys who kidnap dogs to experiment, and they invented a bullet that explodes on impact, and they need a human skull. And are you telling me yeah. Justin Beethoven's Pulisi. big enough as a human skull to utilize? <laughs> and so he <laughs> pours blood on him, and oh, remember makes... that part? That part was great. And when then he at the end, by the dog. are you at... sure you weren't watching Man's Best Friend? I reviewed or this, Kujo motherfucker. <laughs> At the yeah. end, they load the gun and point it <laughs> at Beethoven's at head. Yeah. Yeah. What? And then Charles like, Gordon comes from up top and crashes down and saves the day. Yeah, he crashes. Are you telling me that skylight. Stanley Tucci and Oliver Platt are the armorers of the villain in Lethal Weapon Three? Because that's what you just told me. There's a lot that of they have armor piercing rounds. It's not, it's not cop killers. It's dog killers. Dog. Killers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they should be in a prequel called Dog. Prequel. Killers. Beethoven's a prequel to Lethal Weapon Three. <laughs> Yeah. Those children movies are not as family friendly as, as you remember. As you think, but yeah, exactly. I did not know that. I, all I remember from that is Charles Grodin in, uh, uh, trying to yeah. stop the dog from shaking in the in the living room. That's all I can remember from that fucking movie. There's, there's no, a scene, shaking, yeah. there's a scene there's when, someone... when um, uh, the the great Bonnie Hunt leaves and Beethoven gets in there and starts licking Charles's ear and he's like, "Oh, baby, not tonight. Yeah, you want to like, get freaky tonight, baby? Yeah. What?" <laughs> What rating is Beethoven? I gotta go watch 
A simple <laughs> what, PG. Kids, uh, Beethoven's on Pornhub. <laughs> Apparently. Might, I mean, it's great. dog licking. It's fucking you know? great. Dog licking is definitely on Pornhub. Don't, don't, even, don't search that on Pornhub. You're going to get some weird dog fucking search results. Coming. I don't know. I mean, this, this is what it was in 1991. 19, yeah, 90 or 91. This one, they, the real. This, that's when Brennan Stimpy was out, God, too. Yeah, the 90s 91. were great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, they weren't. I thought Man, they were shitty, the... but these days it's pretty amazing how yeah. you look back. Well, any and go, fucking year after this year is fucking amazing. Think about it now. It's like fucking you're you're fucking. Nineteen forty five was great. <laughs> you're you're praying for the fucking nineties these days. <laughs> you're, you're begging on your fucking knees. You're on your fucking goddamn knees, wishing the nineties were fucking back. <laughs> You know I'll you take this. I, look, I'm black, so you know time traveling isn't one of my fucking uh, first uh, thoughts. But man, I would time travel a little bit. And get the fuck away from this shit. Just, just, yeah, just maybe in a few months. You'd go back to the 1950s, huh? Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Things were somewhat more easy. Some, somewhat you. better back then, weren't they? <laughs> time travelers who are black, only forwards, baby. Only forwards. <laughs> this has been word association. Adding to your vocabulary, yet subtracting from your brain cells. What have you been watching on the television? Harley Quinn cartoon. What? Did you finally fucking watch it? Finally, well, it's, on, it's on HBO Max now. So, so did you finally fucking watch it? I watched the first season. I'm I'm going into the second season. So, so what you think? It's a, it's a fun little. It's a fun little cartoon. Did I? Did I? Did I? It's a fun little R rated cartoon. Did I review it incorrectly? Did I say everything correct? Is I'm going to I'm gonna have to DC? go back and listen to it, but I think you said you liked it a lot. I said it was Venture Brothers meets the DC Universe is essentially yeah, what I said. It's very fun. It's, Kite Man is very funny. Mm. Kite Man is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> Kite, Kite Man is great. Kite Man just wants to fuck. He wants to fuck. Yeah, he just wants to fuck. <laughs> and man, I like Poison Ivy's good. Poison Ivy's fantastic. Uh, uh, King Shark's probably the best thing on it. I like King Shark. He's How funny. do you feel about Clayface? Oh, I like about? Clayface too. I like everybody. Everybody's like great. Everybody. Bane is amazing. Bane, Bane is, is great. Bane is fucking. I'm going to blow the up. Giancarlo Esposito as Lex Luthor. He's, he's I wouldn't good. mind that in live action. Yeah, I wouldn't he's, mind. He's, he's really yeah. good. He's. I mean, it's it's a pretty fun little uh, twenty minute episode. Justin, you'd like it because they went straight anime series. Because in here, here, he's straight black. Ain't no fucking around. Luke, Lex Luthor and Harley Quinn is a black guy. Yeah, he's he's a black. <laughs> he's a brother. Yeah, there's no joking he around ain't about fucking that around. Shit. And then he's got Jason Alexander, and then he's funny. He's pretty good. He, he kind of plays Jason Alexander, so yeah. it's kind of like, eh, he's kind of the weakest link. Extra Jewy. Yeah, yeah. You know? super, you know. <coughs> it's entertaining. I like it. I like, uh, you know, it's something that Nicole likes too. She's into it, so it's something that we can both watch. If Look you like that. the first season, she oh boy. It. When you get Alfred Molina as Mr. Freeze, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to be, uh, I'm into it. Little more. DC are doing, doing right. Look at that. They, they, they're doing okay. Mm-hmm. And then uh <laughs> DC's like the then, uh, uh, <laughs> the slow child, you know. Like no, yeah. Oh, yeah. you made you made a house, Billy. Good job. <laughs> I make good house. You good job, DC. Door. You finally zipped up your pants. Good job, son. Oh, Thanks, DC. Now go potty, it. DC. Remember last time but, you peed in the living room? Try and pee in the bathroom. Yeah, it's too late. Here. I make Marvel's boom boom and pants. Fucking making Mar- Marvel's a fucking Jackson <laughs> Pollock paints and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. and, like, yeah, we know you're class. good. We know, but let's give these guys <laughs> a little credit. Marvel needs oh, to you put found the Mac fucking kibosh in the fucking uh, on that new mutant shit. They need to put the fuck, fucking. That's not even their property, brother. I don't even blame them for that. It doesn't matter. They should have. They, That's they should, the adopted they should, kid. Yeah. <laughs> That's like whatever. It doesn't man. matter. They, they should basically bury this fucking thing instead of saying take it out back behind the the shed. Yeah, old yellow that motherfucker. Fuck this. Fuck this shit. And then uh, the last thing was, I don't think I mentioned this last show, but the uh, 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 I'll Be Gone in the Dark, that uh, uh, Michelle McNamara thing. What the, is that uh, about? Because I hear the, the I Golden see, State. I, I got Pat Oswalt retweeting killer. it. I know he's like, in it, but I don't mind. Yeah, he, he, well, it's about his, his uh, now his dead wife, right. his wife who, who died. Um, I didn't know this, but I'm, this isn't even part of the show. I didn't realize that Pat Oswalt like married somebody else like a year after his wife died. Yeah, I knew that. That's why, and, and that's, they're that's in fucking, love. That's fucking weird. It, 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 it was weird, and it was like I still was like <laughs> everybody was cool with it because it was like natural. It all played out. I guess on television these, or on they don't because they, they don't talk about that shit on the on the show. I figured at all. no, like, it's not even mentioned. It's almost like maybe Pat Oswalt. No, no, <laughs> no. She had like a disease, didn't no. she? No, no. Well, no. They said it was uh, fentanyl and uh, Xanax, and she 
fucking had an OD, basically. So. Really? Oh. I don't know. That's a spoiler for anybody who didn't watch the show. No, I remember when read, she passed read away. News or anything like that. It was so, a whole big thing. Yeah. But I don't know if you like uh, true crime uh, stuff. So wait, is the whole show like trying to figure out who killed her or how she died? It's based on the book that she wrote. She wrote the, the book. Um, I'll be gone in the dark, and it's all about the Golden State Killer. So oh, okay. Whew. It's basically... <laughs> you scared me. I thought them... this show was about how no. trying to convict Pratt and Oswald of her murder. No, if you want to see <laughs> no. that, that would be interesting. That would be though. interesting. I, 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 I would like, wow, look, they're trying to pin it off Pat and Oswald. What the That's fuck? I like Pat and Oswald. What the hell's going That's on That's fucking here? next level fucking trolling. <laughs> like, why is he retweeting this? <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. You just have to kind of like that true, that true crime stuff if you're into it, because some of the shit's like, oh, damn, that's fucked up. Hmm. And they, cut, they catch the old fuck who did it or didn't do it who knows whether he did it or not maybe so. Pat Oswalt did it that's creepy maybe well. Pat Oswalt don't don't fuck on I like Pat Oswalt I like leave him alone he's fine I like him you know he, it's, it's, uh, I, you know, he's he's a good guy and everything like that the only thing that was weird if somebody brought up like yeah he got he remarried like a year later no I it's funny oh. I remember the steps I didn't know of that. it because I follow him I, on Twitter so I was like hey I'm hanging out with this person that you know I was really like he was like super depressed and then, like, oh, she met this. It was all played out, like in social media. And like, oh, now they're hanging out. Ah, she met my daughter. It's, it's, now we're getting married. It's like, whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? It's kind of yeah. It's kind of like one of these weird things where it's like, damn, that happened quick. So, I don't know how her family feels. I know her her dad's her dad's dead, and I think her mom's dead too. So, there's probably nobody who really has an opinion about it. <laughs> they're all Pat and Oswald did it. Uh, Justin, she's, she's got a lot of sisters and brothers yeah, too. True. So I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. Justin, what you've been watching? Um, <laughs> nothing new. Um, mm. I've just been. Uh, there is nothing new. There's nothing new. <laughs> just there's a few new things. A, I, I, yeah, that's a what's good new thing. to well, you? No, no, nothing new to me. I'm just kind of you know working on uh, some reviews and stuff with movies, not necessarily TV. But like I said before, <sighs> I was doing a. I'm doing a. A uh, thing with Batman the animated series, and uh, so I've just been watching that and watching uh, rewatching Seinfeld. I think I need a little laugh, so oh. I've been rewatching that. But and... What season? Of, what season is Seinfeld though? Like later seasons or like? Oh, so from the beginning. What do you prefer? Oh, really? What seasons do you prefer? Like f- oh, I prefer them all. Four, I, they're all different. Four or five are on. They, they do change. That's for sure. I think I like older Seinfeld than the newer Seinfeld. I like newer Seinfeld. I like older Seinfeld. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like there's more of a Larry well, David influence yeah. on later David episodes. David was more writing, and they started bringing people in, and things started changing, and I think he left uh, season seven, before season seven. Mm. It was like near the so, end, but then it was Larry Charles. But there was a lot of other people of that were uh, in and out on the writing team, and you know things got bigger and, and crazier and wackier, and... Uh, and you know that's that's it's it's to me I always say like there's three different shows there, and I like them all equally. So it's just fun to kind of go through them all, and you have that progression of going through each one, and and it's great. And I'm I'm watching Krub again. I'm, I'm started rewatching that. Um, I I got a trial of um, uh, HBO Max, so I was looking at Doom Patrol, but uh, I just I'm just kind of going through and. Seeing what they got on there, and uh, I was looking at the Perry Mason. I don't know. If I... I tried. I yeah, tried. I'm going to start. I'm going to start on that yeah, one. I tried. Time. It's very slow. Mm. Yeah, oh, slow burn, man. huh? And, and yeah. think about that guy who plays Perry Mason, who was on The Americans. He's a mm. great actor, but everything I've ever seen him on is the most boring. Like I couldn't watch The Americans because I kept like, like this is, kill- like it's. Terminally so, he, slow. so he's the show killer. I, I, I don't. I, maybe it's just bad luck. He did, well, not bad luck because he won fucking Emmys for this. But it's just for me. <laughs> I mean, a, lot, I, a lot of shitty people won Emmys. <laughs> but no, he's, he's not a bad actor. He's 10. a very, very, very talented person. It's just I. The two shows he, I've seen him on bore the fuck out of me. I couldn't get to the first episode of Perry Mason. I couldn't get. I was like, I'm trying to watch this. Yeah. I, it, it's oh. very boring. Yeah. And it, it feels like Chinatown, but like without Jack Nicholson's personality. So there's like nothing to carry you through it. So it's just like, because yeah, he's not, he's I'm, not I'm on the fence. very charismatic. I'm on the fence with it as, as well. Yeah. I don't know. J- John Lithgow, that's John yeah. Lithgow, right? Mm-hmm. He's in there. Yeah, he's, he's good. But I mean, He's in it. I like John yeah, Lithgow. He's in there for a little bit. Uh, the, the first episode I saw. But, uh, Ah, Perry Mason. Yeah, we'll God. see. I'll let you know. I don't know. Is that RDJ producing that? Yeah, uh, his wife, I think, does it. Yeah, okay, because I, I, I saw he... him tweeting out something about it. Yeah, his wife's, I think his wife's really behind that, and he was supporting her. I don't know if he is. I'm sure he probably has a, a, a portion of, of probably his see, production if you company. made him Perry Mason, I'm in. 
because he has the personality to carry the show. This guy is like a template. He's always been like n- blank. Yeah. There's nothing. Was, was to Perry the... Mason has Perry Mason ever been? I mean, I don't remember the Raymond Burr Perry Mason. Right. I just know he was a lawyer. Right. In in that, so it's kind of like, well, well, Raymond Burr was kind of more. Well, the theme song was probably the best part of that show. Mm. So that, that, maybe they that, thought. Robert Downey and the Judge movie was too. Uh, yeah, they thought that people but that's would like a movie. To but Robert, imagine the 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 excitement of Robert Downey Jr. doing a series again or doing it'd a. Be, it'd be series. cool. It'd be cool to see. I you know because he's you're right. The thing about your boy um, yeah, is his name is, I'm is fucking up his name. that he's there's something a there's definitely that charisma and that watchability that attracts you to uh, a project that he's in, and mm-hmm. I think if Robert did a series like that. It would be really nice to watch. I think it'd be really fun to watch him actually do that. I think that would have been a great, great idea. And I'm sure he's like just busy ju- right the, now. The judge wasn't really like a, a bad movie. It just wasn't, I think it would have no, served but I thought the judge was that, a great if, movie. Yeah, it was a good movie. It, that was for his better production was, company as well. If that was a show, I think it would have been better because I don't think movies like that, make money anymore you don't make uh, the they judge don't. makes I don't think they 500 do million dollars it doesn't happen no. you, those make, those, those, that would be something you put on like like a like a HBO or a Netflix you make it like five parts you, you develop the characters and he gets Emmys for that because the, the acting is great what's his name uh, Robert Duvall is fucking amazing in the judge yeah he was good you know and, and it wasn't originally him um, original the first pick uh, for the judge was um, Jack Nicholson oh shit see that would have been fucking fantastic yeah um, but, but he it was, wanted to it was make still changes. good. Yeah, no, it's still good. I think it's good. Yeah, I think and and Robert Downey, he's just he 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 kills it. So that would have been a really cool thing, and I think that would have worked probably better in there. Maybe he didn't want. To be I don't know. Okay. We'll see. I'll I watch. Mean, I'll, I'll I'll check it out and see. Maybe I'll I'll think differently. It does feel dull though. There's something about the trailer, and I look at it and read it, and I'm like, the there's jazz, just a dullness the to saxophone, it. The saxophone, and, and the... I'm looking for something that's got a little sharpness to it, and yeah. And I said, I was hoping he'd be witty. Like if he was witty, yeah. like quick witted, it, it is not. He's just very methodical. Which I guess again, I'm too. I'm old, but I ain't old enough to a remember. A little too procedural. Yeah, it's like even Law and Order has some fucking. I mean, they had fucking your boy Jerry Orbach or Dennis Farina. There's some kind of. I think it's eight something. episodes or something like that. I think it's eight episodes, I think, and I was kind of right. looking at that. and I was like, man, is it just one. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little. I'm a little <laughs> off on it, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. It's that guy, man. It's, it, it, it pisses me off because I don't. I'm not saying that the guy's a bad actor. He's a really good actor. Sure. But yeah. I just he does nothing for me. I get it. No, I get it. I think the material. Well, he's probably just a like generic white guy. It, it, but again, the I've seen clips of the. I've, I've seen clips on him in the Americans where I guess he met uh, and married your girl. Yeah, he Felicity. made out all right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he did okay. Yeah, but but I've seen clips where he's like he's doing really good work. It's just this work is great, just great stuff. Nothing Americans. I give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. But, I, but yeah, um, I think he's a he's probably a better character actor. Is he American? That guy? No, no. He's like Welsh or, oh, or Irish or something like that. Okay. He's he's from the from one of the. What the fuck is this guy's name that we're shitting okay. on? <laughs> Figure John, out John Reese. John, John Reese. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> We're shitting oh, all no, over this guy. No, I don't not know. His John, name. Not John Reese. We're not What's shitting on him. It's it's something. I just I just think he's a particular actor that probably would work better as a character actor given the the right material. Um, right. I just don't know if a lead is his thing to carry hmm. in playing it so straight. I think he's right. really good there, in the Americans when he like dressed up and put prosthetics on and, and became these characters i thought he was fucking phenomenal yeah. well he was able to play different characters while playing the same character yeah. he was always playing so i don't know what john john reese it's fucking man. jonathan i think it's just john we'll we're just gonna yeah. call him that guy we call him john that yeah. guy the felicity's that guy. husband <laughs> yeah, Feliz- yeah felicity's boy Mr. Russell. Even, though we're, even though her name is not felicity because we're fucking her <laughs> name up too <laughs> jonathan Russell. No, his name's his name's uh matthew Matthew, Matthew Reese. Reese. Matthew Reese, yeah, yeah. He has an Emmy yeah. for the Americans. I, I am aware of this. Like I said, so again, do I. anybody can get a fucking Emmy. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, I, bought DJ? One the fucking, I, one, I got one at the fucking... I got show. one. I, got a fucking... I get you a fucking Emmy you by three o'clock. I get you one. Polish. I know a guy. <laughs> Let's once again join the jarring journal entries of this juggernaut of juvenile jovialities. It's Julie's Diary. Dear Diary. 
so I just renewed my subscription to Netflix, so I can finally catch up with Outlander. I don't know what I'd do without Netflix. Or Amazon Prime. Or Disney Plus. Or Apple TV. Or Hulu. Or HBO Max. Or Peacock. Or Shudder. Or Quibi. Or iTunes. Or Audible. Or Spotify. Or my PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. God forbid, I live one single second without some form of audiovisual stimulation. Otherwise I would be left with my own dark thoughts of mortality and the growing acceptance of the true, stark, emptiness of all things, paralyzed and crushed under the proverbial weight of the ticking clock, counting down my finite existence. But anyway Outlander. I'm so psyched. This has been Julie's Diary. The Simplistic Reviews podcast will be back after these messages. I mean, I guess if all else fails, I could go outside and make friends. But that's totally lame. Jordan! What? <sighs> I want to watch a movie. I, I want to play some f***ing tunes. I want to watch a movie. I want to play tunes. Movie. Music. Movie. Music. Movie. Music. All right, fine, fine, fine. How about this? We will watch a movie, all right? Okay. Talk about that movie, and then we will listen to the soundtrack that went with that movie, and then talk about that as well. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. So join us every episode on Screen Chats. You can check us out on iTunes. Go to our site, uh, screentrats.net. That's uh, screen, C S C R E E N T R A X dot net. Uh, join us for every episode. We hope you can join us and we'll have a lot of fun, alright? Yes, we will. Alright. There's no doubt about it, Prime. The Decepticons are here. Then our war has come to Earth. We cannot let the humans get involved in this. While we fight, we must be robots in the skies. So what should we be, Prime? A battleship or a Black Hawk helicopter, maybe? Well, I was going to take the form of that Red Mac truck over there. Yeah, you sure that's a good idea, Prime? You'd be a pretty big moving target. Yeah, we shouldn't be so big that the Decepticons could hit us with their optics closed. Right. Bumblebee. You should transform into that bright yellow hippie mobile. What? You gotta be kidding me! Like, 90% of the Decepticons are fighter jets, tanks, or both. Shouldn't at least one of us take the form of something tactical, stealthy, even? No, no, I get it. Perceptor. Electron microscope. Um, come again? The Decepticons will never see you coming. How are we gonna stop Megatron with a microscope? Prime, you always do this. You know... Metroplex still suffers from depression since you made him be a building. We live inside of him. That shit's sick. All these forms you're picking for us ain't useful, Prime. Useful? You're right. Ironhide. Minivan. Oh, come on. Blaster, you will be the most important soldier we have in this battle. Communications. Oh, no. I already see where this is going. Which means you will be a boombox. We're dead. We're all dead. All right, Autobots. Transform and roll out. Half of us can't even do that. Because we're glorified paperweights. What news, Starscream? Is Prime and the Autobots finally planning their counterattack? Yes, mighty Megatron. But they seem to have decided to do it in the form of small recreational vehicles. Really? Well, mostly. Some have decided to be stationary objects like cities or a microscope. You're joking, Starscream. Optimus Prime chose the most formidable form as a beat-up semi-truck. That's the best he could come up with. I mean, I picked a gun. I have a giant bazooka on my arm. Are you you sure he was a truck? Oh, I swear to Alpha Sigma Megatron. Well, I guess we go and destroy them then. Decepticons, let's go. This almost seems unfair.
They say if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. So I won't say anything about this next segment. It's say anything. Simply say anything. This is the segment where I posit some things to Justin and Matt, and they have to tell me something good about something they hate and something bad about something they love, possibly. They might hate these things. I don't know. We're going to see. Hey, we're gonna, we'll throw it around here, all right? Uh, so, Justin, you get to go first here. Give him the thing he hasn't seen yet. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'll <laughs> save that. Say something good about the Green Lantern movie. Oh, um, the good thing about that movie was, um, I forget, oh god, I forget the character's name, who's the, the character? Ryan Reynolds? No. <laughs> Mestro? Yeah. Oh, uh, Hal Jordan? Mesh yeah, no, no. Mark Strong? Mark Strong, yeah. Mark Strong. Oh, Sinestro. S Sinestro was, uh, I thought fucking, the design, the look of it just was like straight from the comic. I mean, he was I thought he was the perfect, uh. Actor to I take that role. I forgot he was in that movie. Yeah, <laughs> I know. He was great. That was great. That you, that was a great. I part. forgot. You know what's funny? That might have been the easy one because I I completely agree. So that shows the best part of that yeah. fucking movie. He's only in yeah. it for like five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> he's but he's great. good. You get more what Scarsgard in that. You do. Movie. Yeah. Why are they There's wasted Sinestro, on Scarsgard? Right? Well, oh, right for the sequel. Yeah. Well. Yeah, never Spoiler heard. load. <laughs> Sorry, Spoiler load. <laughs> Uh, well, we all know it's Blake Lively's fault, yeah. so it's fine. Yeah, at least he got a wife out of the deal. Uh, Matthew, this is going to be impossible yeah. for you. I don't even know if you've seen this. If I choose to accept it? Uh, say something good about the Cats movie. I haven't seen it. <laughs> fucking know. That's what's good about it. What's so good about I mean, I don't know. It, I mean, it, it exists that it, it gave people, um, you know, a lot of things to talk about for a good... Um, I don't know how many hours, how, oh, how month and a months, half. you know, and then that when well, Jason Derulo came out, I was like, I thought this movie's going to change the world. You know, that was the best he part said, about it. Wait, he wait, 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 time out. He said what? <laughs> he didn't... said, he said, he, he said he thought the movie Cats was going to change the world. How? <laughs> was... I don't know. Well, this is also a guy who's like careers based on like dancing. And stuff. <laughs> I don't, I don't really we don't know. We don't take what he says seriously. <laughs> I don't, and yeah, Jason Derulo is a, you know, in case, you know. Well, I don't know why I know more about this than, <laughs> than, than most people. people. <laughs> yeah, it's like Jason Derulo is an enter entertaining young fellow who thought the Cats movie, and he's in. I think he's a rum tum rum tum. He's rum tum tugger. Yes. Yeah. Why do you? You, you sure you didn't see this movie? <laughs> no. I mean, I, I feel like by osmosis, I probably, yeah, probably saw absorbed all, all this fucking shit that people. And yeah, I, I'll tell you what I don't like about it. Like, I don't like how everybody is. What a, a lot of people, ironically, do people ironically like this movie? I, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those, I mean, it's we, so bad, I, mean, I gotta see it. We ironically like a lot of shitty movies, too, but, like, yeah, it's, what it's is a... the thing of it? Yeah, let them have it. Why, why did I like this movie again? Because you didn't see it. Oh, why did I say, why did I, say I like? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it gave us Jason Derulo. He said he gave us stuff to talk about, which is... Yeah, he, yeah, he gave... Yeah, he which I did not hear this quote from Jason Derulo. I never How fucking... How about cats, 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 oh, kitty, kitty, cat, kitty, kitty. All right, uh, Justin. Yeah, that's the best, that's what I mean, I with like your best one. Cats. Say something yeah. bad about the Coen Brothers films. <laughs> Tough one, huh? Something bad. <laughs> something yeah, bad something about the Coen Brothers. That's a couple I don't something, like, by the way. Something nefarious about the They Coen made a couple Brothers. bad ones, if you can think about them. Yeah, nobody's perfect. Hey, nobody's perfect. <sighs> something Might bad. About Might be a tough one for Justin. Yeah. The, um... Can't say Roger Deakins. <laughs> no, no. I would never, never say anything bad about Roger. <laughs> Good old Roger. 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 Don't, don't, don't talk bad about Roger. Why can't I win it? Why can't I would I win say, movie? I feel like sometimes their movies go a little too long. I feel like their editing needs to uh, be tightened up. and uh, Slim down? Slim it, slim it down Slim it bit. down a little bit. Slim it, yeah. You don't have to make every movie over two hours. Yeah, I don't know why that's a thing anymore. And it's every movie. It's funny, when I'm when I'm adding movies to my, my library now, and, and, and there's a newer movie, Within the last five or six years, I'm like, I'm sure it's probably like two hours and 20 minutes or something. And sure enough, it's always past two hours, 2.05, 2.10. I, I just missed that good old hour and a half, hour 45. 
Really? I used to love 90 between, I used to look, look at the back of like a, a Blockbuster box saying, was it 90 minutes or 100 yeah. minutes? Yeah, I don't really get that anymore. No, it's like 135 minutes. I'm like, God, now I gotta do fucking math? I don't know how fucking long this movie is. <laughs> Jesus. Too fuck, too many fucking minutes. Slim it down, brothers. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, 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 again, this is, I guess, personal preference, which is this whole game is. But it's, just, you know, I, I don't give a fuck if it's long unless it's, if it's, if it's bad well, as long. You, well, why don't, why don't you tell us something? I, I, I would say I, I, I would, I would agree. Intolerable with cruelty you. is pretty bad. I would agree. Burning after reading. <laughs> if the movie really is intriguing and it's good mm. and and everything about it is firing on all cylinders, then okay. But I feel like because other people see that's being done then they allow themselves to do to, to go over and I feel like a lot of movies and sometimes when I've watched their movies I'm like you could knock a few minutes off here I feel like you could mm-hmm. there's a couple scenes that I'm just like well we could you know yeah. cut it down 15 20 minutes not everything has to be a fucking metaphor mm-hmm. or something <laughs> Matthew Matthew not a fan of metaphors <laughs> No, well, I mean, you cut cut the fucking fat, and it's like, oh, well, this guy's and I and I and I blame that he's in and hell. I don't blame them for doing that. I, I I think I blame Nolan actually for doing that. Oh, Christopher Nolan. Yes. I, I blame. Yeah. What was that we were doing? I blame uh, him for at his work expanding that, and people going, well, if he does it, I can do it, and that's not necessarily <laughs> yeah. true. So he's really got a lot to say with this extra uh, forty-five minutes. Forty-five so this, minutes uh, of screen added. Then. It's like, hey, that uh, top is still spinning. <laughs> Uh, it's like, oh, well, look, you know, this, if you're stroking yourself during the fucking uh, editing room, I, I think you should probably get out of the editing room. <laughs> well. But we can't get rid of any of it. We can't get rid of any of this. this Keep it all. Real. Keep it all. <laughs> Keep it all. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, but, uh, but, uh, um, Chris, you know, it's a little long right now. It's like, it's like, shut up. I'm the filmmaker. And <laughs> yeah, I'll yes. make the money. I'm, sa- for I'm saving cinemas. I'm saving yeah. everything. I was like, hey, Chris, where's your Oscar? He's probably a very nice I'll man. I'll have it one day. He's probably a very nice man. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. I mean, he looks just like fucking Robert Pattinson. He does. He looks like fat old Robert Pattinson. <laughs> he looks like fat Fatterson. Or this, I, Fatter, I've eaten food Asherson. today, Robert Pattinson. Uh, Matthew, well, <laughs> say something bad about Rick and Morty. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't, don't oh, it. you don't like Rick and Morty. Oh. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. About it. I don't like the. I don't like the uh, fan culture behind it. I don't like the. We're smarter than everybody else type thing. It's it's stupid. That show fucking is. If it went away, I would. I wouldn't miss it. Really? I did not that know you can hated go, Rick that, show can, that show can probably go fuck itself. In my really? Wow. This is a revelation. You didn't know this? I thought I told you. No, I love Rick and Morty's. I didn't know you hated it. I just it. don't. I, I just don't care. Okay, I don't hate it. I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck that it, every single time they do like a new cartoon, it's like, oh, the Rick and Morty events. Like, really? Damn, I'll go watch something from the 80s or 90s that was far more clever and ahead of its time before Rick and, Rick and Morty was. Like what? Like anything else that's not Rick and Morty. <laughs> like everything <laughs> else. Rick, everything else that Rick and Morty has copied off of like 30, 30 to 50 years of sci fi and comedy and everything else. So Unbelievable. Didn't know you hated Rick I just and don't Morty. care. I, I don't fucking care about it. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Well, apathy, it's, huh? It's, all right. Uh, I give uh, no fucks about <laughs> Rick and Morty at all. Wow, you're the first one I've ever heard destroy Rick and Morty. Really? Yeah. No, I'm, don't worry. A lot of well, here's the thing. People won't say anything because they're gonna. We'll get attacked on the. Uh, oh, make sure this is the the clip you play for like maybe a preview of the podcast. <laughs> it's me saying I don't give a fuck about Rick and Morty, so everybody can come after our podcast, and it could be just come full circle because you, you'll get all the. Uh, uh, Rick and Morty bros that come out and, <laughs> and fucking Morty worship bro. that worship the fuck they're, they're worse than the hey bro I'm gonna go pop on that cartoon bro see that yeah, doesn't make that doesn't go yeah, together yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's that it's, it's been hijacked by a bunch of fucking uh, like uh, Bernie bros basically <laughs> Bernie Bros are the Rick and Morty Bros, basically. Wow. The same fucking person. This is same all revolutionary people. that I'm hearing. Yeah. Make sure you put that whole I think thing I'm going to agree with Matt on this. So I'm going to be Really? Ooh, Justin yeah, doesn't like Rick and Morty either. Am I the only one here that likes Rick and Morty? Wow. I mean, I enjoyed... There's a fine line between liking it I, I enjoyed and just it not giving in a the fuck. beginning, and then I kind of got over it and just said, let's everyone put their cocks away. It's, it's okay. 
Yeah, I get it. You saw that one really obscure movie or something like that, so we're going to include that All the time. in the cartoon. Yeah. It was a really or it's good like, hey, remember that, that time? Out shoot. It was remember remember during, during Mulan? Remember Mulan when that movie came out when it didn't cost $30 to watch on Disney? Come Plus? at us, motherfuckers. And you, could, and, and, you could, yeah, and you could buy the fucking Szechuan sauce and did that whole thing about it too, and it became a, a fucking uh, toxic fan cult. like two Talk seasons about ago. Could you imagine? <laughs> Toxic fucking fan culture 101 is for fucking Rick and Morty right there. Well, first Before off, you're Star incorrect. Wars, that's Star Wars. No, I don't want, no, no that's why it's okay. That's it. Modern toxic fan culture is Rick and Morty. It started with Star Wars, Star Trek. Everybody no, was too no, smart. There's no so, toxic fan base for Star Trek. There's not really anything because everybody's way smarter. Everybody who watches Star Trek is pretty smart and everything well, like that. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, you're welcome. But you also watch Rick and Morty, so you don't have <laughs> what the fuck is a wash? It's a wash? I'm going to cut your fucking leg out from under you right there. Just for I was smart and now I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, basically. You, 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 you're you For a minute there, oh. I agree. And they're like, I like Rick and Morty. Like, fuck <laughs> you. That was a really good episode that came out this year about uh, the, the uh, they did a, he invented a reset button. And I thought it was a really well-written episode. I don't know, maybe. What I've seen from the show, I enjoy, but I won't watch. Well, like I, I, well, I won't watch it over again, and just I think it's the uh, the surrounding things around. You have to cartoon. learn how to shut that out. You're nah, losing okay, out on too many things. Okay. You're, you are the motherfucker who won't shut anything out. No, no, trust me. <laughs> but I can separate. If somebody tells me, no. well, blah, 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 everybody loves it. And I'm like, well, let me see what it is for my own you, opinion. You, you've, <laughs> known me, you've known me for t- far too fucking long to know I don't roll that way. <laughs> you've, you've known me for goddamn You're missing out on so many things. Life. You're missing out on so much stuff. No, I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of other shit out there that I am perfectly content watching. <laughs> if I'm missing out on that one little... One little fucking blip on the goddamn radar. It's it's fine. I'll, I'll watch uh, I'll watch Doom Patrol. <laughs> you and this fucking dude. All right, uh, Justin, <laughs> <laughs> say something. Well, again, I, yeah, <laughs> you can't really do it. Give it to give it to him. Talk about toxic fan culture. Yeah, speaking, of, speaking, speaking of toxic <laughs> fan culture, say something good about the Star Wars uh, sequel trilogy that just ended. It killed it. <laughs> And he hasn't even seen it. You guys are anarchists. <laughs> I it. swear to God. It's done. I want everything destroyed. I'm happy I don't want it to ever you're one, hear. Well, you're the one telling us. You're asking our opinions. This is my opinion, motherfucker. Uh, right, I don't want right. to do Star Wars anymore. I want it to be gone and over with. Thankfully, they <laughs> fucking suicide themselves. <laughs> well, it's dead. You're, you got what you wanted. You did. It's dead. Well, you hate, you hate it too, DJ. I do hate it. I, I hate it. It, it. it died for me the last the two movies When the ago. first it, one... Is like it, okay. I mean, they remade it, but okay, that was you know. It's all right. Like, yeah, hey, and then the second one, I, like, I look at, I look you, at it like, a, like a, oh, oh. <laughs> you see, you haven't seen Rise of Skywalker, Justin. No. So I will equate it like this: Force Awakens is me driving on a road. Last Jedi is me driving off a cliff. Rise of Skywalker is how do we land after you drove off a cliff? <laughs> Because there's nothing it's, other to do with exploding in the car. <laughs> You're just dead. Yeah. There's, no, yeah, there's no salvaging it. It's over. Yeah, they killed it. It's funny. I, <laughs> and this is coming from a guy who hasn't seen I, it. I noticed it because... Perfect. Because I remember when, you know, Star Wars was... was Between Star Wars films, like, you could not stop hearing how progressive they are and this and that and how the next one's going to be amazing. And it was just it was just a jerk-off session for everybody. And we're all in between. And it's kind of just incredible to witness um star wars yeah i mean cool it's it's i you know never was never a big star wars fan i was more into if anything star trek but i enjoyed star wars original 77 and all and uh the way they treated this was was like a a kidnap victim being molested and raped repeatedly (laughs) and that uh that victim eventually just hung themselves (laughs) Is that, is that a movie? Didn't that happen in a movie? No, it, it, it's Jack Nicholson's girlfriend in fucking Batman 89. It just jumped off a building. She had an accident. Yeah, she had an accident. <laughs> you can't make it can't make it out if you don't break a few shoes. <laughs> somebody said that... that uh, a wise man once said... Somebody said that The Last out. Jedi is like how to destroy a franchise without looking like you were doing it on purpose. And that's the most accurate description My of that movie. My favorite part, I've seen... Um, some uh, behind the scenes and making of stuff in regards to um, the rise. And it's funny how much they blame the last. And it's funny because I think people forget JJ was a producer 
on The Last Jedi. He yeah. is the one calling the shots. Not for The Last Jedi, though. Did you hear how that went, how it went I, down? I, listen, <laughs> what I hear is one thing. Would you like me to explain no, to no, you no. how that went down? No, again, I'll blame, I'll blame, I'll, I'll blame the evil empire, uh, Catherine Kennedy. I don't even blame them. I blame Catherine I, Kennedy. I blame Ryan Johnson. You want to know why? I do not blame Ryan no, Johnson. No, I, I do not. You blame want me to explain him. to you why I blame Ryan Johnson? Okay, explain you, to you, me, you, and I'll, I'll, I'll give me a point for. Yeah. Give me thirty seconds. Give me thirty give seconds. 30, put, no, put no, no, no. I want to hear it. Clock. No, I, 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 throw it I, at you. Can give me fucking fifteen seconds. Throw it at me. How many fucking movies do you know? Name your fucking favorite fucking movie. Name your fucking favorite motherfucking director. Name your favorite motherfucking writer, and tell me how many fucking versions of those fucking movies you fucking like are using the fucking first draft of a script that ignores every note from the f- previous movie. Name me one. Because that's what The Last Jedi is. It's the first draft. There is no edits to the first draft okay. of his script. Okay. That's the fucking last... That's not okay. Kathleen Kennedy. That's not J.J. Uh, Abrams. Yeah. That's not Disney. That's Ryan oh, no, 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 fucking no, no, no. Johnson. They, okay, they let me respond. Have, they, they still can look DJ, at the script respond. and see what they want to do. It's the first draft. I, let me for respond. our sketches, I don't even use the first fucking I know, draft. I know, but let me <laughs> respond to that. Because I'm Kathleen Kennedy. We have different drafts for the sketches. We had different drafts for our little films and whatnot. Even as a fucking child, we changed things. <laughs> that is not the director's fault. That comes he from a... It. No, 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 no. It. no, 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 no. <laughs> Disney's the one that purchased and is driving this vehicle. They are the driver. If they get a dent, they fix it. If they don't, they don't. Disney's the reason why... And they enabled uh, Catherine Kennedy to drive this. I blame her. I blame her. Remember she did to Indy? Remember what she did to Indy? She did that to Indy. She also did it to Star Wars. And Lucas wasn't there. And I I feel like if Lucas could talk, he'd be like, fuck it. I hate her. I hate her so much. <laughs> and we talked about this in regards to the round table discussions of how she kept like interrupting oh, yeah, and yeah. saying, oh, "Oh, no, no, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong." Kathleen Kennedy is part of the problem. Sure, she but is. Yes, not she's Ryan not Johnson, the main problem. a director who I, should not have been directing that film to begin with. To begin got with, brought in. <laughs> there is no reason that he had to say when you have fucking Dizzy, the Evil Empire. They have all control. Producers then have control. The director has no fucking control on this whole project. If less, it's a fucking independent film that's being shot for $100,000, then yes, I agree. Yeah. But not when there's billions at stake. No way. That is not Ryan Johnson's fault. I am not but, standing but, up no, for you Ryan can, You Johnson. cannot say it's not Ryan Johnson's fault. I'm, He's the director and the writer. No. Disagree. You know that my my the bug for me stops with starts and stops with the writing. If the writing is great and the directing sucks, at least you have good dialogue. Yes. You have sensible plot. Realize plots. that characters make sense. JJ <laughs> allowed it. Order. Disney allowed it. They read it. They agreed. They allowed the drunk driver to drive the fucking vehicle. That's all. J- that's that's all. Ryan is is a fucking drunk driver. That's all. See, he then is. the drunk driver just walk. He's, he's just walking. <laughs> He, got the keys. he ran over a, 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 a school said, full of children. He let them walk out Wrong because they idea. sold him a car. <laughs> you do not give the keys to somebody you don't fucking know. Uh, Matthew, say something uh, good about the Triple X State of the Union. <laughs> that was the second one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. With Ice Cube. In I it. like when Exhibit came in and was like, yo, I'm going to pick your tank. <laughs> You know what's funny? Usually Matthew's saying it to be ironic, but I do remember him liking that. I've always liked that <laughs> always part. Liked, he's consistently liked that part for many, that's many a, years. That's the one, that, and that, I fell asleep in that movie, and that's the one part of that movie I was like, ooh, this is pretty entertaining. <laughs> I, I, I like William Dafoe was entertaining. Who's the bad guy? Who's oh, William Dafoe was in that movie. He falls out of a train or something yeah, like that. Oh, something like that. Oh, and who's it? Lee Takamura? Director? Yeah, Lee Tim, the, 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 Tim the, the, the pedophile? <laughs> Is he a pedophile? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. God damn it. You've ruined two people for me already. <laughs> two people. Stippy guy look, in the I, fucking... Look, I, I can't... I, look, <laughs> look, it's 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 a, it's a neat... We're canceling Lee Takamura. Gee, is it Takamura? We already, we, already, t- we already went through this. I don't know. Lee, Lee, Ta- Lee, yeah, this is a, this is a while ago. Old, he's, the same, he's the same one who did fucking uh, Die Another Day. Die Another Day, yeah. Fuck. 
No, no, no. That's uh, I thought it was Tomorrow Never Dies. No, it's when on the when they're uh, rolling around on the ice with the uh, with the uh, the the cars are on the ice and oh, yeah, okay. and sure. the sun is coming down. It's got oh, Chris, not Christmas Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jinx. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, and it had a, what's her name? Uh, uh, song girl. Song girl. <laughs> oh, Roseman Pike. <laughs> Rose, yeah. Uh, what's, it, uh, what's her name? Madame Curie. <laughs> Madame Curie. That's who she plays in that radioactive movie. Yeah, but I like the pit. The, I'm gonna give you a tank. And you like, like I, no? You know what's funny? I believe you because you. I remember when that movie came out. You did say, "Hey man, they pimp a and, tank." Yeah, and that, and that was like the height of like pimp your ride was out. It was like yeah, exhibit used to host the show on. Was that VH1 or MTV or something? That was on MTV. Pimp your ride. It takes them to West Coast Customs. <laughs> like, I'm gonna pimp your tank. Oh give him God. a tank, and the tank was actually like. It was chrome. It was a chrome tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that movie was like the Hobbs and Shaw before Hobbs and oh, Shaw. How was dare thing. you? How dare you? Uh, <laughs> no, no, how dare you? <laughs> Justin, say something bad about the Watchmen TV series. Something bad? Yeah. Oh, um, I would say that it didn't get a second season. Well, we don't know that yet. That could uh, happen. Well, sadly. Uh, I, hopefully, God not. I don't think it will. For I think I think they kind of. Ended it perfectly. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think they feel they. I feel like they probably should have uh, treated that material a little bit different and made it into at least maybe three seasons. Oh, you think they rushed it a little Not bit? Back yeah, I don't know. I think that's. I think that's what they did. I think they rushed it. Yeah, that's probably the probably best. It was really good, but uh, it's got like ninety five Emmy nominations. Yeah, <laughs> so <I'm> cra- <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, it was good. I mean, I don't think it was the most groundbreaking thing of all time. I feel like they could have probably went there. I think it was because... I think they blew their it, load. It's almost like the movie where you're like, how are you going to fuck this up? Because this is very, this is material that's almost Watchmen. damn near impossible to adapt. Yeah, I, to love it. Adapt. I love Watchmen. I love everything about that. And it was cool to watch it. I I, I, I enjoyed it, especially HBO. I, I love HBO and I love what they do right. with that stuff. But yeah, I wish we had a little bit more. And I, I really... From what I've heard, they've kind of put the nail in the coffin on that. So, hmm. hopefully, I mean, again, Dan I hope I'm wrong. Is working. Oh, I, 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 well, where, where, where do you go from the, from from where do you leave it at that point? You'd have to jump it's into the future. Like, I wouldn't want yeah, it like which I don't know season. how I feel yeah. about that because he almost did everything in that show to kind of distance itself from the comic book outside of a you know, few main characters, but yeah. mostly it's they played brand new. They played it material. safe. They played it safe. And I think they just played it safe for the first that first season, and that's it. And I don't think they were even thinking about a second season during the first season. So um, I think it was just a limited series. What's that? Uh, Matthew. Yes. Say something bad about the Planet of the Apes trilogy. Something bad? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Uh. Even the stuff that I could say is bad isn't that bad. Um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think myself as I write this. I'm like, mm. What is bad? <laughs> because I, that's another, um, that's like the Watchmen TV show. I didn't really have any high expectations. And I came out like going, whoa. I, 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 feel, I, feel, I mean, it's, it's like, I know it's a trilogy. It's like, I would have been happy with the series being over after two movies. Oh, after after uh, Dawn? Dawn yeah, is the best Dawn. one. Dawn is the yeah, best one. Yeah, I mean, I think you could have just kind of ended it and made it kind of a thing, but of course you got to do everything in threes. So it's like, oh, we have to introduce a new bad guy and how Caesar does this and stuff. So I think you could have just ended it after Dawn and been done with the entire thing. The only thing, I'm, just, I'm not a... Just f- let it live in its own little bubble and world and without having to do something else to... You know, was it uh, Rot? Was, Rot was the third one? War, 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 the, war, the war. Planet, yeah. yeah, I don't think war was entirely necessary to be honest with it you. only has that one good part which again spoiler alert for war of the planet of the apes but the way caesar's arc is ends i thought was really great but you're right the the movie itself war of the movie itself compared to dawn it's like it's not even close. well yeah but dawn was just like damn there's a lot of shit going on in this and it was like <laughs> okay. perfect hero's journey and everything like that yep. and like shit happens but you didn't really need war and then 
Like, you got Woody Harrelson in there. It's like, fuck. They, really? They under kind of used. They uh, underused him. Like they should have had more of Woody. Like he's good in it, but he's like not in it a lot. He's only in the worst, it. The worst part about all those movies too are like the humans. Like I don't want the humans in it at all. Oh, you, you, if, the if Godzilla Transformers me, thing. <laughs> like I don't like. I'm, I'm not into that whole shit. It's like everything about the apes is compelling, but then when you start including all these humans in there, and I know you have to because it's, you know, the the battle between apes and humans have to happen, but. The, the worst, like, the stupidest parts about everything is just the human element of it and mm. everything. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's, even in part two, it's like, oh, these humans are, they stumbled upon the apes and they want to live with the apes. Like, fuck you. If I was the ape get the fuck out of my goddamn city. So you're Koba, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, I'm Koba. <laughs> I'm Koba all day. I don't like, I don't like humans. <laughs> I, mean, I, I do not, I don't trust them. Well, Koba, Koba was fucked over for two goddamn Human long. work. Human work. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, human work. <laughs> fuck human. Yeah, fuck that human work shit. Uh, Justin, I'll, I'll grab the gun and fucking. You would grab the gun. You're a fucking bastard. I would. I would. <laughs> Koba was the only one right. <laughs> Koba was right. He's Killmonger. <laughs> yeah, Koba was right. Uh, Justin, say something good about Captain Marvel. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I know. <hey. laughs> it's not an easy game. <laughs> uh, it was nice to see uh, Samuel get some uh, screen time. Oh, that's true. I, I, I thought you were gonna go straight with uh, Mendelssohn there. Did no, you know I, mean? I was. I, I, I. He was too goofy I, to be I, around. I, in the movie I really been dying to see more of uh, of him in the Avenger movies and everything. And I, I feel like uh, I understood why they did that in the beginning, but I feel like toward the end they should have just had him part of the team. Yeah. But, uh, you know what I was hoping? Because in it's a terrible movie, fucking it's not, movie, though. It's not good. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's absolutely the, terrible. It's just not great. It's not a good. Should have had Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron would have killed that role. It's fucking pissing me off that she she didn't. Even, well, she wasn't even asked. But uh, she's she too busy being beautiful somewhere else. Right, apparently, she was an Oscar winner too. I don't see the difference. Anyway, uh, the, the, in the comic books, the Skrulls are bad guys, and I thought that it was setting up them being bad guys at the end there's a secret s- invasion yeah because there's a, a scene at the end where ben mendelson's character who in the movie they're good he gets shot right and the daughter sees it and i thought that he was going to die and the daughter was going to take that as oh they killed my father now i'm going to do secret invasion because she becomes the queen of the scrolls that's what i thought they were going to do but they don't do it at all they're just like eh, no, no he's all right well they might <laughs> like, they might in the future I, 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 well, he's in I far. From, he's alive. He's in far, far from home. So it's like, yeah. fuck. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess this is normal. I think they're like probably hedging their bets against like, well, we didn't know if we're gonna get a Fantastic Four. No, okay, now that we do, then we can start making scrolls more of a thing now. So. I guess. Yeah. And then they'll do Super Scroll and all that shit. How'd you feel about Jude Law in that movie, Justin? I, I kind of. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, he turns out to be the bad guy. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, I. I it, you law I'd, I'd like in some things and, and then some other like this for example it just uh, it feels forced uh, yeah. he's, he's got that uh, that receding hairline and he just looks like an older man that shouldn't be doing this stuff anymore <laughs> I think they were looking through their Rolodex, like, who hasn't been in these movies yet? Like, Jude, call him up. Call See Jude. what Jude wants up to. It's like, hey, Jude, you want to be in a... Uh, uh, and he doesn't even die. He's still fucking fucking yeah, about. Yeah. Fucking, How much? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sure. hoping for... Uh, I was hoping for a Tony Stark... I forget his name, Jude Law's character's name, Amon Rog or whatever. Uh, Tony Stark, uh, Amon Rog, uh, Martin Freeman, Doctor Strange scene. Because you'd have both Sherlock and Watsons in the same scene. You just want a fucking Maverick scene. I do, because we did have kind of the Sherlock Sherlock in the Infinity War, but we had two Watsons in this universe now. We have Martin Freeman and we got Jude Law. I was like, hey, have them, uh, but it, it'd be impossible for that. <laughs> it'd just be funny for me. Yeah, well, it's only for me. One, now you only have one Sherlock. And I, j- I like Jude yeah. Law. I just don't like him in this. And no. I, the same can be say about Brie Larson. Except you know, I don't funny, like her. I, I'm gonna give her. I'm, I'm gonna give her a little bit of a shot. Really? Because kind of shot. Again, you can't hit women, man. Come on. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just, dis- I just dislike her. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to. Th- this harm. is gonna go. This is good. Again, this is gonna go back to my writing thing, which is when you see her in Infinity War, which she's not in a lot, but when the Russos wrote her, when, when the Russos wrote her, 
I didn't mind her as much as I minded her in this movie. Like there's that. Well, they, no, they kind of like wrote her out of the movie. They wrote her out, but the scenes that she's <laughs> in, I didn't mind. Like there's that scene with her and Thor. I thought is really good. I was like, oh, you know, that's sure that, for I that second. That. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she didn't have enough stuff. time to be cocky and funny and hilarious right. and girl power. I think if they, I'm going to give her one more shot. If they get a better writer on the second one, which I think they re, yeah, they let's hope. The directors. But I mean, yeah, she really I'm, does I'm come off God. as a prick, you know, when Jeez, she's not guys. even doing that movie. I mean, in the comic, Captain Marvel is kind of a prick, but she's not. <laughs> she's as, a big YouTuber now. You know that? She's got her own YouTube yeah, channel. I, I noticed. I saw. She's got her own. She's YouTube never done it before. Doesn't channel. know how to do anything yet. She's got like six cameras set up in her room, perfect lighting and everything. And Again, I don't know. I, I never it, did this. I'm just setting it up. It's all bullshit. There's a lot, a lot of actors that are assholes. That there are a lot of actors who are assholes that are play characters I like. So I'm just gonna give her one more shot. I said, maybe get a good, a good writer here, and maybe they'll they've they, they they've learned their lesson. So maybe we should make this. So have I. I, I don't know. Likable. <laughs> I won't be watching. Make her the second a little, one. Just make her a little bit more likable. Just not. I'm not saying you're for to smile. I know, but you're not. You're, but you're, you're not. Yeah, you're not going to win the with that argument because as soon as you make her more likable, it's like, oh, you want to change. There's no, a lot of moments not... in that movie where I'm a girl and a guy does something bad to me. My father said I was shitty. The the, the men. <laughs> The, the baseball it's team fun, said I'm that's shitty. fine. I, again, the, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not going there. They clearly had an agenda. They clearly the had movie. an agenda, and it doesn't belong there. <laughs> I'm just saying, give me more of those. It's a great character, Captain Marvel. Moments. He could have written it the way it should have been written, and quite frankly, she doesn't need to be a prick when she's doing interviews. So, that's what I, I mean, saying. again, I get. I don't give a fuck about any of that. I just want her in the movie. Like the, like the Peter Parker Captain Marvel shit. I, I give me more of that. Give me some, when she's written by actual like I think McFeely and uh, the who wrote the Infinity War movies, the Avengers movies. When they when good writers get a hold of her in though it's again yeah. small bits. I, I, I agree, man. I, you know what would work great if Doctor Strange put a, a spell on her and she couldn't speak and she was just staying. oh geez, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great because then she's in the movie and you don't have to deal with it. Oh, well, the, just ripped myself out of that hole. <laughs> Dang! Look at that Ma space magic. What? More space magic. Six Put that five bucks well, the, in my <laughs> hand, little man. Oh, well, her! It's like fucking. It's like Superman and stuff like that. She's basically female Superman. Well, super, Henry Cavill's charming as fuck. Just make her yeah, charming but... as fuck. That's all you got to do. Not saying make her sexualized or you know smiling. I'm just saying make her likable. Like, well, I like her. I liked her friend better than I liked her. Okoye, was... Okoye, put it this way: Okoye from Black Panther. Yeah. She's not over sexualized, but you like her. She's a likable character. She's very. Well, she's like she's like she's like well, kind Black, of smart and Black funny. Black Panther's like, characters are, are likable. They're yeah, like, she, it's a fun. No it's a fun movie. There's no overly sexualized perfect. character it's in those movie. movies. And there's women in them, yeah. and they're good, well-written, likable characters. Let's make Black Captain Marvel kind of like that. Shuri, not over-sexualized, likable character. I might say that Okoye. might be the worst Marvel movie. I put Ant-Man Cap and the Wasp Cap up Cap there. Cap A lot of things no, don't make sense in that movie. Animal. Also, also oh, when she, she 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 gets kidnapped and you know goes into space for how many years? Oh, God. I don't even fucking know. 20 something years and she imagines the friend's daughter who when they get to earth is the exact same age so she doesn't change in 20 years she doesn't change maybe it's maybe, maybe it's less than that maybe it's like five years i, I, don't, I, don't, I think it's more I, than I, that i, I, I can't i can't I think remember this movie that. that well it's, it's not a good movie no it's in, it's, it, it's on the list of the worst it's pretty Put fucking it terrible it, dj pretty fucking terrible. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not fighting yeah, but it's, it's kind of It's kind of unremarkable. I'm, I'm amazed. Unremarkable. There's, just, there's just nothing about it where I'm like, well, okay, I, I'm going to have to watch it's that. Like Marvel like, would you ever watch Captain Marvel again? It was like ice on the ground and they slipped and they're like, whoa! <laughs> like, I'll, I'll pop on a Ragnarok <laughs> again. Let that happen again. Pop, I'll watch yeah. Infinity War again. Oh, I'll yeah. watch, you know, Endgame. But I'm not going to pop on Captain uh, Marvel again. I, I, Iron Man 1, one and 2. <laughs> yeah. Are, any other movie? <laughs> Like I don't like Thor the first one. I don't like the first Thor. Yeah, I don't but, even remember. Well, it's, that. It's, like, well, it's, po it's ponderous drama. It's ponderous Shakespearean pseudo. Shakespearean that's when drama. they couldn't figure out what to do with Thor. This it's is like, hey, uh, Thor, uh, Thor it is a mythological uh, figure. And I respect this. Is what I'm. This is what I'm hoping for Captain Marvel. They didn't figure her out yet. I'm hoping soon, like they did with Thor, they'll figure her out. I know, but Thor, he's the wheelhouse. That actor isn't a prick. Again, there's other actors who are pricks that have done stuff that I like. So it's it's not over the realm of possibility. 
A lot of pricky actors out there. A lot of sure. Lot of douche- Majority of them. I are. mean, Jennifer Lawrence is not a. Uh, oh, uh, she's a probably the person, worst. But she's done movies I love. Uh, the, the performances I really, 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 really like. So I, I can't like. It's a good performance. Not go with her personality. Personality. Like, I like Silver Lines Playbook a, a yeah. very, very much. Okay. I love that I mean, scene. He wasn't there for like a minute. Yeah. When she fucking shits all over Robert uh, uh, Robert uh, De, Niro. De Niro in the the the, the, the curse okay. scene. Yeah. I thought that was. I'll give perfect. you that. That's probably the only movie I really like her in. I like I like her in Scott Pilgrim. Who uh, Brie Larson? You're talking about? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. She's only in there for like five seconds. I know, but I like her. Man. <laughs> I like her in that short short term thirteen. She's pretty good in that. She used to be a either. singer. Yes, she was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think she still is. Well, she does everything. She's she's amazing. But she's <laughs> yeah. That was sarcasm, folks. Uh, she just, she she's just amazing. Discovered YouTube, right? I didn't say that. She's the best. She's YouTube the best thing. For a decade, and she just, <laughs> she just got goes, on it. Just as said, she's amazing. It's the most non-sincere. She's amazing. She's a- <laughs> it sounded sincere. It sounded so insincere. Right Listen, I, mean, I can't I, tell I you them. what to think, DJ. Oh, that sounded like you. Just, you might as well have quitting your fucking fingers and making the quote symbol when you said some. Yeah. She's amazing. <laughs> She is amazing. <laughs> you can't see this, folks, but Justin literally threw his arms up in the air. <laughs> what? Yeah. What, 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 what I do? I'm sure I'll get emails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Matthew, say something uh, bad about Robert England's portrayal of Freddy Krueger. Something bad? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is necessarily his fault or anything like that, but the way they wrote him for like the first two movies. Is just completely different than. Oh yeah, any yeah. He's like he's like, like scary in the first two movies. Well, he became like a like a he became like a cartoon villain. Yeah, after true. part two and part three and beyond, he was like, you know, something completely different. Uh, Monty Python. So, yeah, it just became like a silly like a silly character. It was like, oh, he used to be scary, and then he was like, oh, this guy is just terrified. Fucking, me. Still terrifies me. This, this guy's like a just a kooky kooky uncle, you know. <laughs> Got, Uncle got, Kruger. Yeah, Uncle Kruger. Oh, Uncle Kruger. Like, he's got catchphrases and shit like that. Like, you know, even in, like, Freddy vs. Jason, like, how sweet dark meat. Dark you know, meat, that's, yeah. That's a, that's I mean, the even you got to even you gotta respect that, you know. <laughs> My sister bro- burst out laughing. When it's he's... fucking hilarious. It's like, only, only Freddy can get away with something that kind of, you know, questionable. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it's it's. I don't think it's his fault. I think it's just the way they wrote him. It's like, hey, man, can you be kookier? It's like. What do you mean? I'm a, I'm a Shakespearean chair. <laughs> Robert like, England? Hey, can, you just, like, can you just have like funny puns? Can you tell like, like a girl like welcome to prime time, bitch, and pull her into a <laughs> Pull her into a television set. <laughs> and um, and, and I, I, I like that Freddy Krueger stuff. I like all that goopy Freddy Krueger shit probably better than the original Freddy Krueger stuff. You know, I don't like the original stuff where it's like, God, I this is your God. Yeah, like, the, oh, the first Freddy Krueger, man, I can't. It's like yeah. legend. I can't go back to it. I, so I don't know. It's, it's I want one of the, my it's sleep. Like, I don't. I don't watch the first two movies that often. I watch probably three on because they're sillier. So you pre- you you prefer the kookier one? You don't? I like kooky. I like kooky like Kruger. Oh, I don't like. I, I don't. I, I again. Yeah. Look, okay, I prefer kooky Kruger because it's not scary. But I think the best version of Kruger has got to be Scary Kruger. Can't, it, it's I, I don't know. It's, it's like a little too like, oh, this is like too on the nose type thing. Oh, man. Like, oh, well, I get it. He's a nightmare. Coming man. through the but fucking yeah. walls and fucking bathtubs and shit? Yeah, I don't know. That stuff wasn't just like my, my cup of tea. I like kooky. You like needles shit, fingers, but... Kruger, don't you? Yeah, I like basically. Like, yeah, I, pay, I like that stuff. I like when he turns people into like motorcycles and shit like that. <laughs> Like I like all that, all that Freddy, Freddy. I like when he turns a girl into like a cockroach. And I do remember the, the Roach Motel the Kruger. Roach you Motel. like Roach Motel Kruger? Yeah, I like that. I like Nintendo all that. Kruger. I, I like the Tendo Kruger. I like the fucking like you know big snakes swallowing the girl Kruger. Oh, that's creepy, Kruger. That's still you kind know, of creepy I, I, though. I like yeah, it's a little, it's a little. Yeah. I didn't like all that fucking Dream Child shit. I don't like that though. Was that the one with Yafet? No, Yafet was in part. Uh, is he in Dream was, Warriors? Was, I thought he was in Dream Warriors. Yeah. Yaffe Koto? No. Was he in Dream, Dream Warriors? Warriors? No, it was the black guy that looks like Yaffe uh, No, I, think, I, I know Yaffe was in one of these. Uh, swore maybe three. Was maybe, in three. One. maybe three. Maybe he was like an orderly or something like that. Because <laughs> I, know, I know the guy you're talking about. He's like the other fat, fat I thought, black guy. I could have like swore Yaffe to Koto. God Yaffe Koto was in Dream Warriors. I'm looking it up now. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think he was. Yaffe Koto. Oh, 
John John Saxton was in a few. Uh, uh, was it Lawrence? This a, was it Lawrence? This is a Trailers? band called Yafet. This is a band called Yafet Koto, by the way, which is this is a great There's a band called Yafet Koto. Yeah. Sweet, no, great I name for Lawrence, a band. Lawrence Fishburne was in. Lawrence Fishburne was in Orderly yeah. in Part Three. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yafet Koto was in. Uh, Yafet Koto. Blah, blah 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 blah. He was in Freddy's Dead. Oh, Freddy's Dead. As the Final Nightmare. Oh, yeah, that's that right. That movie was stupid. You're right. I, I, I didn't like that movie. It's a fun watch. Pretty dumb. It's fun. But I, I don't seen watch it all the time. I prefer New Nightmare to that, though, to be honest. New Nightmare, underrated. Underrated. It was, it was Very like, underrated. Uh, it was like super super self-referential. That was great. Uh, that was kind of like a, the, the Deadpool of horror movies. <laughs> yeah, that's that's when that's when uh, Wes Craven came back. He was like, "Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it." I'll fix this movie. fucking thing for you. <laughs> he basically said that. He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be in the movie and right the wrongs of uh, my my son, my predecessors, or my uh... my predecessors." <laughs> you know, and, uh, Randy Harlan did part of uh, part three, Freddy or part four. Harlan. I think he did part four. I think he Randy did the Harlan did a Freddy movie. I didn't even know he that. Did. Randy Randy Harlan did part four. I think <sighs> Randy Harlan's best movie has got to be Cliffhanger. I'm assuming, right? Um, it's not Die Hard two. Do not even fucking start. I don't like. I hate Die Hard two. <laughs> you love. You love yourself some motherfucking Dennis Franz though. You son of a bitch. You do too. Uh, we all do. Who doesn't? <laughs> uh, who's this guy? <laughs> who's this man? Where the fuck Dennis Franz says? Where the fuck Dennis Franz says? He says some Dennis Franz shit. Like, fuck you, Sipowitz. <laughs> He will always be simple with Steve, won't he? Well, he'll be <laughs> fucking xenophobic, racist. He racist simple with. Fucking. He can run for president. Simple should be thing. the fucking president at this point. He practically is. <laughs> but Justin, mm. last one. Say something bad. This is, my, this is very apropos for what you're doing right now. You might have said already. Say something bad about Batman the animated series. Oh, Batman! I got Batman in my basement. <laughs> Everybody hates that episode. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. Nope. That's the everybody hated hates, episode, huh? Everybody hates it. And that's a very widely... Uh, do episode. you want me to change it? I could change it. I have others. Um, oh, you have others? Oh, that, I could say that, cool. what's, you know... What's, what's more hated than that? Uh, well, more hated would be the redesigns, probably. The redesigns with Joker. Oh, you know what's funny? I was about to ask you about that. Yeah. I was talking... I wasn't to... a big fan of the redesigns either. The I like Joker with like... the black eyes. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I like Joker with the. Black I don't guys. mind. The only redesign I like, the only one I like, is the uh, Scarecrow redesign. That's the only redesign I like better than the original. Okay. Redesign. Oh, that's when he's all creepy as with, fuck looking. With the yeah, noose and everything like that around his neck. Yeah. 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 I, I don't Even mind. The, the, I, I don't like mind. The, I like the Bane, Bane, Bane redesign. The Bane redesign's like good. I don't. I like the Joker redesign. I don't think I like Freeze's redesign. I can't no. remember Freeze's redesign. Uh, I can't remember. He, he was a lot skinnier and weirder. Nor did I really like. Some of the vehicle redesigns. I like the bat suit. I like the I like the, the black. black on the gray. Yeah, no, the it's nice. Gray without the. It's nice. Yeah. I'm not entirely against redesigns. Actually, I think I think the the new adventures, I think are pretty good. Um, I think it, the Joker redesign was a little rough at first, but I, I get used to it. I kind of like it. Because he looks like otherworldly yes. with the black eyes. Well, he's, he's like yeah. he's, he's, he's almost more menicing, I guess. I yeah, he's, he doesn't look like a person. <laughs> he looks like a doll or some weird shit. Yeah. I don't know. I, this, this grew on me. I, 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 I think I liked it because it was more... I like the edges. I like the sharp edges of... Uh, yeah. Was it Bruce Timm and Paul Dini, how they were doing that shit? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was a milestone, and I don't think anything ever gets back to it. I always compare it to what D DC does now, which is the wrong thing I, I should be doing, but I fucking hate the animation that they do now. Um, mm. It's getting better. I, I hate it. Then they get. Then they abandon it, though. Isn't the new Superman a completely new animation? The uh, new Superman movie coming out? Oh, uh, I don't. DVD? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really follow Superman. Oh, the, the apocalypse. <laughs> I fucking hate Superman. Superman. The, um, the Justice League apocalypse shit was like the end of that. Yeah, era of well, they, they got into the whole. Uh, a few years back, they got into the whole um, like Japanese designs and stuff like that, and more whatever, manga, yeah, manga. And I fucking hate yeah. that. And that's good for their stuff, but with Batman, sorry, doesn't work for me. Um, grew up on Bruce and. Uh, that's what I want, and I, I, I see it. I see it influenced nowadays. I really do see it influenced, and there's some um, there's some nice nice things that, uh, of course, their 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 writing has gotten terrible. 
but mm. at least their animation has gotten better. Uh, DC. The Harley Quinn design is kind of like a combination of animated series with. Uh, and I like that. It's got. It's, well, it looks kind of like Funimation too. It looks like the old school fucking Super Friends. Because the bat, the Batman, like and the, the jo- like Joker looks like the old Joker yeah. from like. Like Super Friends, he like looks Legion like they, they took the era. Super Friends look because he got yeah, the yellow like, teeth and like, the. Which I do like that. I, yeah. I like the bat suit in the new uh, Harley Quinn show. It's because it's kind of like, like it. the redesign, black but it, and gray, and everything. And he like has that. like the it's armor super plating super and shit like that. I I, I don't yeah. like that. See, we're we're talking nerdy. Yeah, that's uh, a whole animation topic redesign talk for another day. <laughs> but <laughs> Batman, I got Batman in my that basement. That's a skip right away. To me, that is the worst episode by far. And and I. I grew up hating that episode, and I always kind of felt guilty, but it was nice growing up in, you know, the last 10 years, listening to podcasts and other people complain about that episode, so obviously, you know, you have to go I was right. That's the one that everybody universally says. Is yeah, I always say it's the worst, worst one. I know. I've heard it in, like, many, many other places. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I, I was never a big fan of the Again, episodes that didn't include, it's a like, kid-driven episode, episode. Batman's yeah. out. Penguin's coming. Kids have to deal with it, and I don't. I don't. I'm watching Batman. I'm not watching. Kids have to fucking. Are, are, are we? Are children. we universally agreed that the best episode is uh, Almost Got Him? Is that the best one? That might be my favorite Rock. one. Rock. I mean, I don't know. Heart of Ice is pretty. I wouldn't funny. say that. Heart of Ice is good. No. Nah. Uh, almost Got Him is fucking. But fantastic. It, o- o- over the maybe. Edge is maybe let's the hold best. it. Maybe we should do like a, our top five episodes or something. Oh, I like that. We'll yeah, do a video. That's a, that's a good. Almost Got Him is pretty fucking. Of course, good. It's great. Some amazing episodes in the Batman animated series, and, and yeah. uh, nothing will ever come close. Well, you know, you always got a. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No matter anything you're gonna say, let you me just stop, stop you before right you even now. get started. Yeah, it's I'm not even worth you your right time, there. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this has been say anything. A little less harder to get through than hemorrhoid flare-up. Uh, all right, Matthew, give everybody our information. It's simple. Uh, <laughs> get it? Uh, it's get simple. It? Uh, it's so simple. Is it simplistic? Can, uh, you it's, mother it's almost simplistic. It's almost simplistic dot reviews. Whoa! That's pretty cool. You want to fucking find anything about us? You go to that. You don't even have to like we said this last episode. You don't have to, you don't even have to put the fucking dot net anymore. It's simplistic dot. Totally. Reviews. I mean, you could the fucking web. You could if you want. You can still go to simplistic reviews. I don't care. If you, you know, if you're a grandma, you're a grandpa. <laughs> but who puts dot net or dot com or dot org yeah, or dot gov? Who gives, who gives that dot shit? Gov, dot How about TV? simplistic dot reviews? Dot- Exactly. Ooh. So clean. Oh, you fucking. Nobody else has that shit. <laughs> yeah, they may tell. Name you another that. fucking podcast that has that shit. Well, I was yeah, gonna. Oh, oh no, oops, no, you no. can't. Oh, you can't, <laughs> motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. And guess what? It doesn't exist. I'm gonna tell you about our OnlyFans page, motherfucker. Oh, that's right. You can go to Bitly. Slash SR OnlyFans, and it totally will definitely not go to our simplistic dot reviews slash shop page. It definitely won't. I can assure you that I am not telling you the truth. He's not lying, but he is. No, but he's not. Ish. We're not lying. Ish. There's nothing. It's a little bit of an issue. We've ever done that ever deceive our. Buy a shirt, motherfucker. Never done it. Yeah. Buy a shirt. Buy a mug. Buy a mug. Sign buy up for hat. our newsletter. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what? Guess what? If you don't sign up for the newsletter, I'm just going to tell you what's going to be in the newsletter. Mm. So, but sign up for it for the future because you can't always count on us being to be truthful to you people. I'm a liar. But again, I, we will never lie to our audience. Compulsive. We will never do it. I we always are lie. not like other podcasts that. Do the old bait and switch. The old bait and switch is not us. My name's not even DJ. I'm that lying to you. You know we tell us. straight up. <laughs> we tell you straight up now. Straight up lying. Tell you. I'm going to tell you what's it's going on. It's all real. On. Yeah. Fake. And make sure uh, in September or whenever you listen, I don't know, because you know we're we're doing some uh, film festival reviewing the next uh, few weeks too. So make sure you go on the website and uh, check out all the cool 
uh, reviews of, of uh, the Fantasia Film Festival for 2020. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, we got some press Are credentials. We doing that? So we're we're che- where yeah we're we're That's doing pretty that. Cool. We're checking some shit out. It's pretty cool. I'm we hard. Got some I have an erection up. right now. That's really you're hard. hard. Feel these nipples. Yeah. Feel this fucking. <laughs> Did dick. I know about this? I, well, see, this is the only time I will lie. To somebody, I, I, I first off, not, that's a lie right there. I've never lied. <laughs> that's a straight up lie right there. Call me George Washington. Even, that's a, another never liar. Cut down that cherry tree. <laughs> straight liar. I've never, I've never cut. I've never cut down a tree in my entire life. That's that's the truth. Like, I never have. I've never Again, cut down a tree. Keep on lying. I, I haven't. No, I, that's it's it's honest. I have never. I've never done that before. Mm-hmm, but, sure, uh, that's great. I yeah, can't there's, wait. There's some. There's some fun stuff coming up. Uh, some interviews, reviews, all types of cool Nothing stuff. Nothing with Brie and, Larson. Oh. Nothing with her. She's not invited. <laughs> Bree, uh, we'll, 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 I can fix you. Come on over. C- come on over, Bree. I fix you. I fix you. You're, you're, you're inviting Bree. I'm, 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 I, you don't have to smile or anything. Don't break my hand like the Don. Just, just come on over. <laughs> hey, by the way, I want to say something. If you made it this yeah. far, listeners, I'm going to give mm. you a special coupon code. If, yeah, if you made it to the fucking end of the show, okay. And we're not going to tell this. This code is only available on our podcasts. You can't get yeah. it anywhere else. And all you have to do is type in listen I want 15 to get 15% off your purchase. Oh, look at this fucking guy. This guy sounds listen, like a fucking ad man. Listen I ad man want over 15. Here. That's all you're ever going to hear is on this podcast, that code. That code will not be used anywhere else. We'll be on other podcasts. We'll be on all yeah, sure. yeah. the other fuckers. <laughs> and and we'll give 10% off there. This is 15% off. Maybe. 15%. It all depends how much we like them. And I'll tell you how we'll like yeah. them. If mm. if it's a 5%, yeah. probably don't like them that much. If it's 10%, oh, they're fine. Spoiler alert. But Spoiler alert. we like you more. And uh-huh. they won't take care of you as much as we take care of you. Because they don't love you like we love, love you. you. We do. It's all love, guys. We do. It's all love. Except for you, Brie Larson. We We're love not you. really in love with you. We, we love can't. you. We'll never lie to you. And we'll give you 15% off just by typing in, listen, I want 15. I like this. There you I go. like this. This is, I feel like, a, I'm not great, Bob. I feel like I'm on Mad Men right now. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I mean... We're not going to tell you to type in, listen, I want 15. Again. Listen, we're listening. And the only time we will tell you is on the show. Just listen. We, we're listening. Yeah. We know you want 15. We're yeah. I don't know why you didn't ask for 20, but you wanted 15. You fucked up. You, want, yeah. you fucked up. You fucked so, up. Yeah, for some, the, the, the adoring public wanted 15. That's an exclusive we give, we give the people what to this want. podcast. Exclusive. A 15% yeah. off. We won't go that high mm-hmm. ever again, probably. Never. Because we can't Never. count that high. And this is the Jew. This is the Jew saying, "I won't go lower." <laughs> he won't. I mean, he will for other podcasts because we don't yeah. have respect well, for them. No, but we have respect no. for you. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Our listener, our loyal listener. We care about you. Our people, our listeners who have listened to the till the end of the show. Listen, those other podcasts. Okay, mm-hmm. they're only yeah. going to give you like five percent off, ten percent, maybe max perhaps Tops. and that's pretty Tops. disrespectful quite frankly yeah. they might be fucking your wife oh first off i got pictures i would check i yeah. would i would hire somebody perry mason right yeah, over yeah, here perry probably, mason perry all mason that motherfucker because she is fucking around on you i'm telling you right <laughs> now fucking around she said she was hanging out with with norma at the fucking picnic guess what but you know who's not no gonna picnic fuck you? N- nor norma no it's called maybe more like a dick nick <laughs> dj's not gonna fuck you Matt's not going to fuck you. I'm not going to fuck you. Nope. We're going to give you 15% no. off. Yeah, we're going to love you. And Long time. that supports the show. Yeah. So I don't know why you don't want to support us. If we support Fucking you do. in everything you want to do, we know your career is going great, and we're going to support you during your career. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to support your time. crafts, your arts and crafts. You're doing a great job. Your baking <laughs> is fantastic. I love your cooking. But I also love giving you 15% off. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> Just don't forget. Well, for- don't forget. <laughs> I love you. Well, <laughs> he, he doesn't. Uh, for Justin loves you. <laughs> for unless Lee you're a Larson- racist, fuck you, or a Republican, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You have to pay us to listen to this. Show. A whole bunch of Republicans are already by. I was going to say them. terrorists, but I don't know. They mm, they all seem worse. What's the difference <laughs> at this point? Is there a difference? Uh, for, well, for uh, oh. Brie Larson and. Uh, 
Pornhub and Jason Derulo. I'm OnlyFans saying, hey, 15% off, you motherfuckers. Let's go. Get yeah, to we'll, it. We'll, we'll, Buy some shit. Again? What's that code? Oh. Listen, I want 15. Listen, I want 15 talk now. Me, talk to me. Talk to me about what you Yeah. Say? You like, you like 15 you want it? I'll give it to you right now. Yeah. Listen. Okay. Mm. Ain't, it's listen, it's all lowercase. All you have to do is just type in listen. <laughs> no I cap. want 15. Oh, I want to wear a shirt. Want Show me. Hey, put that shirt Show on. Show me so how much know. you got there. <laughs> keep your keep your. You, how big on. is that? No cap. Is that 15? <laughs> oh, is that a 10? More than 14. Is that a 10? <laughs> mm. 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 I got a $20 bill right here. Let's go. That <laughs> kind of looks like a 12 <laughs> to me. <laughs> How big is it? Here's How big is it? NIC. How big is it? How big you want it? I want 15. 15? How big you want it? You know, some people truly don't appreciate the Simplistic Reviews podcast. Do you know how hard it is to come up with a vast array of original dick jokes, Trump insults, horrible celebrity impressions, and passive-aggressive digs at our competition each episode? You don't. Imagine, living your life as childish, petty and untalented as us, yearning for just a sliver of recognition, for the effort we give, in giving little effort. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. Fine. Go listen to your in-session film, or your next best picture podcasts for astute, in-depth film analysis. But the dick jokes. The dick jokes are all right here.